we go. Hi, Ivy. It looks like Ivy's the first one here. Hey, I'm clicking Happy over Friday. now. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Let me get. Let me get. And me. There we go. Oh, here's a good one. This is a good one. There we go. Okay. I've got, got a little bit more. Hot chocolate. Hi, Margie. <laughs> Oh, why is hello all? Are you both crocheting? I right. and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, this will be look. fun. Come over here. Look over here. I'm looking look. for my pin. When I transported all my stuff up, I had to put it in a bag because uh, I, you know, it's excruciating. Walk up and down stairs, and uh, my pin okay. was in the middle glue and I don't know what happened to it my oh, art glitter glue and that was the only stainless pin I, I mean I have lots of pins but I don't yeah, but they're not don't know which ones are stainless wish I What's had that? sent you a couple well I probably do have some because I have so many pins but yeah, just I, don't know. Most, I gotta go around my desk on, wobbling 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 <sighs> Uh, Martin's fuzzy cutting. <laughs> Ivy's crocheting. I wonder what 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 are you crocheting? Can you put me down, please? I am doing well. This is kind of weird because it's Friday and we're not doing a sale, and it's really weird for me. It's thrown me off all day. I'll tell you um, to not do a sale tonight because it's Friday. And yesterday I did a color date with my little friend, Evelyn, who's eight years old. And so I brought my camera and stuff out to the dining room table and set it up out here. And it, I, I just loved it here. So I just brought some things out for tonight for here. But I just realized I need to go get the stool for my studio because this chair sits way too low. Got some beautiful tatting on Etsy and now I'm gonna learn. Oh! That's awesome. I yeah. Always wanted to learn how to do that. It's got to be very similar yeah. to crochet. So that's cool. I was just reading it. That is really cool. I'm going to run and get my uh, tool from my okay. studio desk. Okay. Okay. So um, I have been unable really to waddle up my stairs. Um, it was pretty rough getting up here, but I'm up here. I've got my coffee. I've got my snack. So we're going to, you know, in, in lieu of tutorials this week, uh, do the, do this craft along. I feel like I really miss you guys. Um, uh, yeah, tatting is nodding, isn't it? Do you have all the little bobbins uh, that you switch back and forth? Is that what you're doing? Is that how that's done? I'm not sure. Um, it's beautiful though. Beautiful. I have some hand tatted stuff from grandma. Um, so I'm, uh, tossed up whether I, I'm tossed up whether I do, um, uh, some work in my art journal or, uh, use my gel prints and cover this packaging that I just ran through my, um, my big paper cutter um and uh work on because i'd like to get it get them like on here which i might just start gluing and we'll see where it goes i think that's the plan um because i want to make a tag book i've never made a tag book and i think there's lots of lots of different things about tag books um i'm reading sorry Oh yeah, Sh are they called shuttles? Is that where the they're tied to each one and you have it pinned to a board and you kind of switch back and forth? Is that correct? I mean, I I've seen it done. Oh, your mom is there, Julie. Hello. Yeah, we're doing a craft along. We're just hanging out, just Friday night party, you know. And then a Saturday night party. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Margie's yes. making a tag book. Oh, nice. Uh, right now. Little Women. 
that's why you mentioned that the other night. So, Marion and I were discussing this uh, before, like it was a couple hours ago. Um, and I've Ask heard Martin. of tag books. But I've never, Martin, uh, what is a tag book? What? Before we say anything, let ask Margie to define what is a tag book to her. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask everybody what they think a tag book is to them. Julie, tomorrow's still on. We're just not doing a sale tonight. We're just crafting along. Yeah, I'd like to know what. I'm getting grabbing some. Well, when you look it up, you get all kinds of different stuff, and I, um, I know how I'm going to use it and how I'm going to do it. I just um, uh, wanted to know well, the only thing what everybody to else's idea is. My new tag book, there's only one thing that comes to mind to me, and that's what I told you, Sharon. So, but I thought, you know, I don't know. That's may not be what yeah. everybody thinks. Well, so, I can think of like three different things. Yeah, Julie. <laughs> well, since I've thought of some other things, but I still probably wouldn't do them personally, but um, a book made of tags. Yes, oh, besides oh. a book made of tags. Well, we've got wait. that. That part is down. But yeah, how you use them scary. maybe is different. Are you saying that, like this is a bunch of tags here that the tags go, to, There's here's a spine and they all connect at the spine and they become, the tags become the pages of the book. So the tags are actually the book. Are you saying that it's a book and the tags are in the book? That's what I need to, okay. So Margie's actually taking the tags, putting them together with a book ring. Like a book full of pockets. Well, like the tags become the actual book pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. That's that's kind of what I'm doing. But then there's also a couple different thoughts about how to use them. Each tag. Um, and I, I just wanted to know what everybody else was yeah. thinking. So Margie, are you putting like, um, okay, you're decorating each tag and are you putting pockets and things to tuck stuff in? So it's actually a, write, a journal or a book, but it's instead of pages as we've seen them before, like... Um, signatures there's tags okay just used as art so it's kind of like an art journal book made of tags i like that mm -hmm. okay i got um, that. that that was one of the things i was tell i was talking about um there's other ways too there's a like a junk journal style tag book or a, a an art journal style tag book mm -hmm. um and I, when i looked it up i there are just so many different things that came up um, I, I was just, I don't even know why I looked it up because I mean, clearly in my head, I can come up with, it is a book yeah. made of tags. And there's too many things. <laughs> huh? Maybe. And then there's just too many things to decide from or to right. choose from. Right, right. <laughs> so I went into the studio and I grabbed a few things and brought them out here to the dining room. It's kind of weird not to have everything around me, but I'm gonna see what I can do with just what I brought out, which isn't much. I grabbed a, um, a scrap bin of um, ribbon. I grabbed the stack of gel prints that we did. Um, I grabbed a couple of inks and a, and a uh, sponge to do that. I grabbed a couple things of words that were sitting there and a couple punch outs. Um, grabbed a couple punch Wait, outs. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold up. Margie, okay. you don't make journals? She just makes art. She doesn't put them together as individual journals. Nice. Mm -hmm. so, like you never make journals? Gonna use my Numinator. Oh, I should have uh, uh, checked in with Trudy to see if she could come tonight. Um, is she home from the hospital? I assume she is, but... Well, she's been... I think so. Yeah, she's been uh, making stuff like crazy. Yeah. She's doing good. I have a hard time making when uh, when uh, I'm preoccupied with... Yeah. Um, so, I, 
she must be doing pretty good, yeah. I, I think. I hope so. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get this all over. I have to. Oh, darn it. I'm going to cover this and then I'll cover my desk. Because <laughs> well, I still have glue spread out all over here. I can't. I've, I haven't been in my art room for so long. I forgot how to glue, apparently. <laughs> hey, Mama Bear. How are you? Sharon, Mama Bear Kitchen's here. Oh, I don't see her. Am I not seeing the chat? Hold on. Yeah, make sure you're on live, not top chat. Uh, what is top chat? Well, do you see where it says live chat? Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Yep. Touch the yeah. thing and make sure it chooses live. So you should Hi, see live. Amber. How you doing, honey? Good to see you. Ooh, I just burned my lips on hot chocolate. Yeah, it's hey, so Amber. I have a question. What are you talking about with the uh, the crunchy, sweet Christmas party mix? I was trying to, because I've cooked a lot of things over and the I years. About it and she I was trying to figure out what that was. Because I don't know what which one she's talking about. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really, so will you figure it out? <laughs> I still, I've been racking my brain trying to figure it out. <laughs> so my thought was to use up some of this packaging and uh, these ugly gel prints because they're going to get kind of covered and, um, you know, like they're not my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll probably doodle in my art journal. Most likely. Okay, yeah. okay, so let's see the reindeer stuff. Um, do you remember what I put in it? Because I make stuff up all the time. <laughs> I agree, Margie. I like to cook, so you know the reindeer stuff. Well, reindeer stuff. Um, did I put pretzels and M and M's and because it was like antlers? Did you put something special and you called it reindeer poop or something? Or was it the chocolate stuff that I make that like the chocolate bark that I make all the time? That's not just Christmas mm -hmm. um, with all the fruits and nuts and cookies and stuff. Dark chocolate. Is that what you, Oh yeah. That's Lucy. Oh, okay. No, she's talking about like the, like the Chex Mix style with the, with the pretzels and yeah, I don't remember what I put in that. It, usually I'm a cook that uses what I have in the kitchen. So I probably looked in my cabinet that day um, before the party and said, oh, I should uh, throw something together. And you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. that's just how I how I do. So, well, that doesn't help when people really like it and want to know how to duplicate it. <laughs> This is yeah. so true. <laughs> now I've been wanting to try it ever since she made that comment, and now you can't. <laughs> I've really been racking my brain. I don't know. <laughs> funny, but not funny. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not more help. <laughs> so it was like Chex Mix, but sweeter. Yeah, because Chex Mix can yeah. be pretty savory, and I'm not always crazy about that. But I do like it when it's sweeter and has. Um, I'm a sh sugar junkie, so yeah, you know, sugar, <laughs> uh -huh. sugar junkie. I'm with that. I'm just like slapping this on here because it's going to get covered with stuff and cut up, and you know who who knows which pieces I'll keep or not. Some book pages, some ugly gel prints, <laughs> you know. Making ugly well, stuff pretty. So you're kind of collaging with them? Um, to make tags. Okay. You know, cut them up and I see what a, I get. I have this big bin here of... of it's like the uh, backdrops of tags? Packaging, packaging that's um, like made up of tags. Like these came out of Spectrum Noir, packs of markers. You know, they're like tags. Or these Bow Bunny Brads and things. I, You know, and then some just... Um, cardboard like cereals box but it's kind of the same size bin is stuff like that and so i've got a whole box of that stuff too 
So that's that's what I just grabbed here and thought I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with that one because I haven't done anything. I've got so many of them because I haven't done anything with them. Sugar junkie Margie. Yep. And <laughs> yep. That's is right. Amy? Mama there? Is it Amy? What? Is her name Amy? Amber. Amber, I'm sorry. Oh, I also should have got a hold of Amy. Oh. I, I just didn't have, I ran out of time by yeah. the time I realized no. we were doing this. And, yeah, I'm anyway. with Amber. <laughs> Checks mix, but sweeter. I'm there. Sounds really good. Margie will help us eat it because she's a sugar junkie too. <laughs> cool. It really threw me off today to not have a sale tonight because that's what Friday is always all about for me. And yeah. It really threw me off my game. They call me. Kind of weird. Yeah, kind of weird. But, right. oh, I'm going to I'm I'm gonna do a few of these and then I'll probably go to my art journal. Ooh, look at that. Are you feeling more um, just messing around in your... What? Are you feeling more just messing around in your art journal than creating tags or something? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna have to let these dry anyway. So what I'm doing is color. I'm kind of color see, uh, going with like the navy blues and the, you know, the, the darker right. sort of colors. And then I'll go with, or not darker necessarily, but. Hi, uh, Amber. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, we'll see you later, Amber. Big hugs. Love your face. <laughs> I'd love your face, but I can't see it. Margie, <laughs> I have a good one. I have so much card stock and pattern paper. And that's why I never actually get to these things. That's why I've got so many. Because I never actually oh. get them. So I thought I am going to purposefully use them tonight and see. Good. Good oh. deal. I mean, I, don't um, I have put some of these like this because I every time I have to throw away a cereal box, I'm like, wait, that's a good box, you know? Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> I just my I mind. Have to close my eyes and do it because I have too much, and we don't eat cereal anyway, so that that doesn't ever really happen. But other teenager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't even tell you how long I've had this Cheerios box that's in my bin here because. <laughs> Because you go, don't eat it. <laughs> Cheerios every 10 years, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bill has a bowl of cereal every night before bed. Yeah. So, and then Kenzie, obviously, you know, she loves cereal. Sure. I can't, I'll eat, like, if I've got, if I've got frosted shredded wheat, mm -hmm. um, That's yummy. Uh, the minis, I'll eat that. Boy, I missed this. I have not been up here for a minute, which, you know, a week. is sad. <laughs> it is. But you got to take care of your body when your body's screaming at you. Right. Oh, it was screaming at me on the way up the stairs. I it, yeah. remember I was saying it only hurts to go up the stairs. No, it oh, hurts no. to go both ways now. <laughs> going down is even worse than going up. Yeah. Yeah. It'll... It'll be good though. Be good um, I hope that I don't catch Kenzie's cold, so I don't have to delay mm -hmm. surgery. Me too. Got a teenager with a cold, just a cold, hopefully. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, a whole minute. She's it was left all day today. Margie. She's just now awake. Really? Yeah, she's watching mayhem for me. Oh, cool. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And the cat. I locked the cat down because I can't be jumping up the whole time and yeah. getting her down off my stuff. So <laughs> it's that difficult is enough. <laughs> so the Sunday after Thanksgiving, uh huh, Doug, uh, goes to a new shift. And he is going to days. So cool. So that means he'll be home on Friday night and Saturday night to handle a little overgrown child here. 
ends up delaying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, not entirely, but sometimes he just doesn't need to be here. <laughs> Delay things. And he'll have to go to bed really early because he'll have to get up really early because his shift is really like 5.30. And um, that way she can go to bed with him and it'll be nice and quiet on Friday and Saturday night for our sale and Saturday night live. So I'm looking forward to that, not having to chase her around or wondering if she's pulling eggs off the counter and eating them. Did she do that? Oh yeah, yeah, you were there. Oh yeah, it was during a sale. She <laughs> she ate eggs and then she came out and I or I came out and I looked at her and she looked at me like, "Hi, where you been? I've been missing you." She eat all of them. And she no, and she had yolk, thick yellow yolk all the way up her nose. <laughs> I didn't do it. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so you want to hear this is this is really funny though. So I moved the eggs. They no longer along on that shelf because she can reach it obviously uh -huh. so um oh, what did i do that for so doug accidentally left a um pack of eggs a, you know a dozen eggs sitting on that shelf i didn't see that they were there um a couple of days ago and lucy while well, i was out of the room she, well, and the whole thing is that she can stand on her high legs now and reach up and, and reach. Oh, yeah. Them. She's tall now, isn't she? She is. And she's heavy. She's, she's solid muscle. She is so darn strong. <laughs> she weighs like 40 pounds now, and she's just solid muscle. May have like so, that. So she um, reached up and got a that dozen eggs that he left sitting there accidentally that I didn't see. So I come out. And she's sitting on the rug under the dining table that's about five feet away from that shelf. And the carton of eggs was sitting in front of her, and the top, the top was open. Okay, and the whole dozen eggs is, is sitting there in front of her. Only one egg is out of the carton, and it's about three feet away, sitting on the floor. So she got the whole carton down. Whole carton. Now not one of them was broken. Oh my goodness. You know it's freaking me out. Not one of them was broken. And she like somebody set them, them in front of her? Yeah. Like like she picked them up and carried them down and set them on the floor. What? She doesn't have thumbs? She acts like she does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she's constantly trying to use her paws as, as hands. It's like she sees what we do and she tries to do the same thing. So I swear that Mayhem has thumbs. I, I tell Bill he's evolving all the time. <laughs> right in front of her eyes, that boy is evolving. But, but what I don't understand is as she would come back down and her front paws would come down to the ground, I would not drop that dozen eggs. Yeah, I don't understand how she did that. She had to have used her teeth. I, but a dozen uh, <laughs> she's magic Margie, yeah she's magic and oh yeah and one night i came out here and i had accidentally left the library book sitting on the end table next to the couch and she was sitting on the floor devouring the cover oh yeah i heard about that you bought a had to buy you're buying well, a new library hard. book yeah <laughs> buying yeah. one of those coverless yeah. books I haven't even called them. I need to call them and find out, you know, what I need to what? do, how much it's going to cost. And oh, I need to do that. I really need to do that. So that was a little weird. I should have cut that off before. So oh. these will get stamped on and stenciled on and. You know, just yeah. I may even take them back to the gel plate. I don't know. Um, but it's, you know, getting them down on this cardboard to recycle them yeah, uh, is something I've been needing to do. And then I thought, well, how about a tag book with it? Oh, uh, let, we should finish our tag book conversation. So, yeah, tell them how you're going to do your tag book. Um, well, I I was wondering because I've heard of tag books and I've seen 
you know, heard people talking about it and seen videos, you know, just in scrolling. Yeah. But I think um, there are several ways you could do a tag book. And one of them would be um, uh, to put all your kind of like an ephemera keeper mm -hmm. to put all your tags in to go through and select when you're making a journal. So they're all like kind of displayed or color, you know, yeah. color coded or whatever. So you can go through that and find the tag for the pocket that you just yeah. made that you're looking for. Um, but that doesn't work for me because I make everything in sets. Yeah. And I usually do an envelope with my sets and then I use the same papers. So they all color coordinate. And, you know, even if I just do like a, I, I do either an envelope or a pocket and then do the bunch of stuff that goes together. Okay. Um, and I wouldn't want to separate it. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to, um, and I think I'm going to use my new uh, crocodile because I mm -hmm. haven't got to use it yet. Uh, my eyelids were up here and it was down there with me. And I, I you know, I was drooling over it and yeah. playing with it and couldn't, couldn't use an eyelet yet. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to put eyelets in all the tags and um, like in the bottom of uh -huh. them and tie them with a big bow. Uh, so that when you're flipping pages, it's up at the top of the tag where you have the ribbon right. or the or whatever tied. Right. So it's going to have fabric on, you know, like <laughs> ribbon on one end and right. fabric on the other or whatever, um, or twine <laughs> or whatever I decide to tie it with. Um, right. And then I'm going to be able to go to it and pluck them off as I need them if I have any spares. Um, but I'm going to do it more like some art. Um, instead of Gigi. like a element. How you doing, Gigi? So are hey, you going to put, like, when you make them as a set, are you going to put, like, all three elements to that set on there together? No, no. I'm I'm thinking not junk journal tags, but, like, art tags. Oh, art so tags. I will be doing them like art, and it'll mini be more like a book. Mini pieces um, of art, mini, mini art journal pages on a tag. Right. Okay. The other way I would think a tag book would be would be an altered book or a junk journal hmm. with just nothing but pockets that you you know fill with tags. Yeah, right. As as like a as like a one piece set, like you know, like a gift or um, yeah. you know, so not not for your own personal use for you go and take yeah. them out. But there's just sure. a lot of different ways to see that. Yeah. Um, rings. I saw them on rings too. Yeah. That's what Margie's yeah. doing. She's going to put hers on rings. Okay, I'm going to go back and catch up on some on okay. some uh, comments because I have it for a while. To see you here. Gigi's had just a heck of a couple of months. Yeah, how you doing, Gigi? So Let's glad see. She finally got her car, her vehicle out of repair shop and home. And Oh, I didn't know your car broke down. It didn't break down. It was with the hurricane. Oh, that's right. She had car damage. I yep. yeah, a big deal yeah. there. The insurance company and Joe's. Well, the insurance covered it, right? Well, most of it. Yeah, that's that's terrible. I'm so sorry. It was a still I know it's been really rough. Hefty out of pocket for her, and she's got Joe not feeling well and trying to keep him out of the hospital. But um, so I think um, I think Gigi, you told me that home health care is coming in. Right for Joe, that should help. I'm hoping. That oh that yes, a little bit of the pressure off of you to get somebody else in there to help. help you. Gigi, are you still feeling really fatigued from from all that? Oh my gosh, I'm thinking that she should feel fatigued just with what's going on in her life. Yeah, but yeah, I know, and she hasn't been feeling good since she had COVID. So, yeah. well, because it, yeah, it just lingers. So poor thing. Yeah, and with some people, they don't notice the symptoms for a while after and some people the the symptoms just continue yeah. and don't go away yeah yeah it's just it's I, lung scarring my brother who's in another state uh had covid tested positive for it and he it's been a couple of months since several months since he's been negative and, and okay but he uh -huh. says that his taste you know how they say you're lost you lose your sense of taste and smell 
Right. His still comes and goes. Wow. And that's scary. Yeah, it's like several months later, and his taste and smell still comes and goes just randomly. Wow. Yeah. That would be so disappointing in your life, right? Yeah. I mean, I food well, is not because maybe I would not eat so much if it didn't taste good. <laughs> You'd still keep trying. I know I would. I'd be like, okay, maybe this chocolate chip will have exactly. flavor. That's or exactly what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I know that there are people that have a really mild case of it. Uh -huh. And then like there was a nurse on the news. She had such a mild case and it was no big deal. And then it wasn't until a month after she had it uh -huh. that she started having these um, terrible after effects oh, from it. And least. she didn't think that she really got, you know, so sick. Um, and she started a support group for people because th they were wondering what the heck was going on. Right. You know, like, why do I feel like this? Why won't this go away? Yeah. Or why do I suddenly have a hard time breathing? Or you know, why do I have asthma now? <laughs> you know, Gigi still has that. She's still fatigued, but she has fibro. So, you know, so you get yeah. a double duty because it, you know, it's just, it's probably twice as bad when you get that fatigue. It's twice as bad. But um, yeah. her smell comes and goes too. Taste seems to be okay. And Julie is making us a salad for Saturday lunch. Oh, yay. I could use a salad. <laughs> I haven't, I have just not been eating good at all. And um, I'm not eating. When you, <laughs> Ivy, will you post in the group something that you're learning to tat? Um, post something that you do, crocheting or tatting. Yeah, show us pictures. It's it so cool to learn as well. Did I you can't guys, handle you? any more hobbies right now. I have too many. I, I've, I've, <laughs> I still think it'd be cool to learn and maybe, you know. Yeah, one day, I've always wanted to learn to crochet yeah. always wanted to but I, I i've always also said i have too many other things that i love to do mm -hmm. and i can't i i already spread myself thin thin and kind of sprinkle myself all over between things yeah. and uh, i always have like three different kinds of projects going at the same time so yeah, yeah. So i figure tatting shouldn't be too far off of that but um oh but it would take some time to you know, commit to learning it and doing it, but, um, yeah, yeah. Just too many things to, I like sitting and doing something with my hands, as you all know, I know I've talked about sewing that way. And I think that's plenty for me. Um, just the, so the sewing, I do have my kit downstairs, um, that I haven't worked in, in a couple of weeks. Mm. Um, I, because I've had my art journal next to me down there. So yeah. when I, when the mood strikes and when I feel good enough, that is what I do. I want to share with you now that I have those blue things drying. So I've been, I'm going to read some comments here. Uh, Julie says she hasn't been eating well either. <laughs> <laughs> Ivy, we're not really making anything special. We just, uh, it's just a craft along kind of a hangout. Um, I wanted to do the, you know, start those things to get them, get the glue dried for the tag book. I took and these things that were bow bunny packaging that brads and things came in and the back has stuff on them, you know, all the branding stuff. So I put on the back of them, something from my gel plating, like this one's a reverse postcard because that could be written on. And then I think I'll probably just decorate the front and then let the back be where I could write on it. But I'm debating cutting them in half because they're kind of big. But then maybe they're, it's good to have some big ones to journal on. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just put a little gesso on the front. I could do some stuff. On what, what? I'm sorry. I was uh, looking at my pile here. What are you thinking about doing with them? Well, I, these are, they're kind of big. And I, but I'm thinking, well, maybe big is good. On to have a you know some big um, tags in a journal to actually journal on, but they're actually quite large. I was thinking about cutting them in half, but then that would make them pretty thin. Oh, they are a nice size though. But if you're going to like them too, they are kind of a nice size. They are. Well, I don't know. It would 
to be a matter of making a pocket big enough. Sometimes yeah. they're not quite that wide. Well, even, I, you know, I, like. And those I probably uh, stick them in a side tuck or something like that. Not a. Hi, Candy. Hey, Candy. Is that Candy Boyer? Yes. I just, I just walked around the table to get my. Uh, tell over. Ivy why you're not doing a sale tonight. <laughs> oh, why we're not doing a sale tonight. Yeah, you're throwing me off to not have a sale tonight. And I got to tell you about today. Um, so we're not doing a sale tonight, Ivy, or next Friday because. I'm doing a sale next Friday, right? Are you? Okay. Or the Friday after that. It was the Friday after that. Yeah. No, the Friday after that's the big blowout Thanksgiving. Black Friday. Right. Yeah. So if you want to do it next Friday, that's good. You can. Um, either that or we'll just do a craft along. Um, so the day after Thanksgiving, we're having a big 12 hour Black Friday blowout. I mean, blowout. And so I need to close out all invoices and I've gotten all invoices out now. Um, get all of that done so we can start fresh. But I need I need more than two weeks, but I've got uh, two, weeks. <laughs> I've got two weeks to get ready, a little less than two weeks. For that Friday, because here's kind of what's going to happen. What I'm trying to do is have it organized enough that I can put in the description box what is going to be um, offered when. Like in this hour, we'll do these things. In this hour, we'll do these things. So that you'll oh, have way to too organized for 12 hours. If you don't have time, if you don't want to, um, you'll know what you want to be at, what you don't care about, that kind of thing. I'm really hoping to get it that organized. Um, but every hour we will have a uh, door prize every hour. There will be at least one item that is crazy, a crazy good deal. Got to think of something. What you guys need to help me think of what to call it, but a crazy good deal. Like it's, it's only going to be one, two or $3, something crazy good, you know, like a $10 item for two bucks or something. Um, I, you know, I don't want to call a blue light special. That's Kmart. We got to think of something. I don't know. <laughs> we think of something. But um, yeah, so there's going to be a crazy good deal every hour. There's going to be a door price every hour. There's going to be different items every hour. There's going to be a combination of both vintage and new. I got two packages of new stuff today. But let me tell you what happened today. <laughs> so all the invoices were done as of five o'clock this morning got the last one out. And so I started um, the, the sorting and organizing because you would not even believe how much stuff I have. I've kind of told, you know, told you a little bit, but it is true. So what happens is like I went and, and bought three estates one week. And then I went to um, the warehouse sale same week. Well, then the next week I bought another estate and I went down and met the warehouse guy that week too. And that's my last chance this year. You know, I'm not going to go down during the winter. Um, and this is what happens is that I bring all this stuff home, um, like three estates and I grab a little bit of it and we use it in the sale and the rest of it gets put in a box, you know, moved to the side because then all of a sudden I'm bringing home another crazy truckload of stuff. And, we use it for that, and the rest of it gets, you know, in a box and to the side. Well, I, I, you know, have been wanting to get to some of this stuff that I'm remembering is there, but I have to tell you, I didn't even remember some of the stuff that I have because some of the stuff from the estates, I haven't even gone through all the estate stuff. I just brought them home and didn't even have time to go through the estate stuff. So that's what I started doing today is just pulling out one box at a time, sorting, organizing, making my notes, making my lists, everything, you know, to be ready for the sale. And I came upon some things that I didn't even know were in the estate um, that I bought. And wow, then I opened up three or four more boxes and I went, holy cow, I completely forgot about this stuff. I am so wow. excited. I am so excited because I've got so much stuff, guys. I could do a month of 12 hour blowouts and we would not run out of stuff to have um, different stuff every hour. And I am not kidding. 
So we're going to have a blast, a blowout blast on that day. Um, there might be a couple things that some of you who've you know been here for a long time have seen and had opportunity at a long time ago. If there's still some, or if I got more, you know, then there will be some of that. But there's going to be a butt ton of stuff that you've never seen before that I've never seen before. <laughs> so, that you've so, barely seen. Yeah. yeah. Well, and some of it, I just bought <coughs> a lot, you know, with you cross your fingers and hope that there's great stuff in the box. When you, when you get it at an estate sale, you don't uh -huh. always get to look through every single thing. So, yeah. So I haven't, I really literally haven't even, um, well, started. I don't have that much stuff, but I do have some new stuff. So <laughs> I am really excited for this sale. I cannot wait um, for all the cool stuff that, you know, to show you. So, so it's going to be big. And I've also scheduled it to, to roll over into Saturday because I, there's no way we can get through it all on, on Friday, unless I'm dead. If Friday kills me, <laughs> <laughs> but I have, I have, um, Three mods set up for one for half a day on Friday, the other, second one for the second half a day on Friday, and a third one for Saturday. And these are people that have modded a lot and do it very well and very organized and are going to help this thing run really smoothly. And I'm really excited. In fact, Ms. Candy Boyer, right here with us, um, is going to be the Saturday mod. As long as we're on on Saturday, she'll be there with me. And she's highly organized and keeps it great and is really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm real excited. Real excited. What am I missing on? Like, so glad Lucy will be occupied with Doug. Okay. Here's the thing. That's Friday after Thanksgiving and Saturday and his new shift starts on Sunday. So yeah, I literally need to find a babysitter for Friday and Saturday. <laughs> I wish anybody was here to help. <laughs> yeah, Julie, I wish you were here to help me too. That would be amazing. So I don't. He'll be here. Um, like both of those days, he'll work. Uh, he already tried to get him off, but he can't. There's too many people off. Already claimed those days for the holiday. But um, he'll be here in the morning. He goes to work late afternoon on both of those days. Um, but it's the late afternoon into evening. He started checking into the doggy hotels close by and hoping that he could take her over there and then pick her up um, after he gets <laughs> home. But that's that's but, funny. You you need a, a puppy sitter. I know I do, but he gets <laughs> close before he gets off work. Yeah, so <laughs> that is not going to work. So I'm I'm not quite sure. We still have to figure that out. Not quite sure what we're gonna. What we're going to do with that, but um, I want to make sure she gets plenty of attention, but I am not going to have time on that day. Right. Happy attention. Um, Cause we're going to have so much stuff. Well, I'm really excited. So that's why there's no sale tonight or next Friday, because I need that time. Um, you know, I don't know if people realize that having a sale every week, I literally spend the entire week either prepping for the coming sale or doing invoices, packing orders, you know, all those That's things. I can't uh, do it every, I, I mean, I can't even do it every other Friday. It's just, it's a I full don't. Just yeah, it is. Every week. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I love it. I love it. It's, but, um, but it's a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. So it's a good thing. You have to enjoy it or or you couldn't do it because it's. Cause I enjoy it. I just don't have time. Yeah. Uh, no, I get it. Yeah. I get it. And uh, I, uh, if I ever get to that point, I will definitely need to, because I haven't been out shopping much for that. I mean, I, I have a few new things. Um, well, no, I have, I have a bunch of new stuff since I've had uh, uh, had the sale, yeah. but um, I haven't been concentrating on that. And I've, I've just had a lot of other stuff going on. That's why. Yep. So that's yep. where we're at. You have. So that's where we're at. So let's see. That's right. Let me go back here. 
Yep, there you go. I don't know. I hate shredded wheat of any kind. Ha, I hate shredded wheat of any kind. Everyone just stay and watch the whole 12 or 20 hours. That's right, Margie. Just stay and keep me awake. <laughs> I'm firing up all of Utah. That's, if I could, I would. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, if you lived closer to me, we would probably be out shopping and I probably would have a house full of stuff too. Um, yeah. Because I can imagine uh, we would be uh, wanting to go shopping all the time. <laughs> and, okay. It doesn't help that there's been a, a new um, thrift store or two open up nearby. There, right. are, there are now six thrift stores within a mile of me. Oh, but craziness. That's not even where I find most of, stuff. most of this stuff I find at these great estate sales. What's killing me, though, is they're they're catching on to the fact that this stuff has value to us as artists. They're and raising their prices. Yeah. And they're, you know, stuff that they used to practically give away, just take it out of here. They, um, that's been happening they, here, too, for a while. Way too much for. And, yeah. you know, you can only pay so much because... I mean, as it is, I was just discussing this with somebody else today. As it is, I don't make any money um, because I don't, I don't add enough profit on. I, I'm, I really, yeah, not after we uh, I the, really uh, add stuff. in our the um, time, the gas, the the uh, storage, the um, the yeah. work with the all of yeah, yeah, all the packing, packing it up, and doing the sale, and yeah. But um, I enjoy doing it. Exactly. And I, of course, love shopping. So, <laughs> you know. Yep. So I made a little rusty heart that's going to end up in on one of my pages here. Oh, cool. Um, oh, my knee hurts. Sorry. No, that's Had okay. Okay. Um, it's going to end up probably on this one here but i wanted to share what i've been doing because i do this in stages yeah do you want me to move um, the screen no 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 that's fine um yeah. i know i shared some pictures but i didn't share pictures of everything just at, as things have gotten further along because i'll go back in and i feel like this one's done i feel like maybe that's the only one that's done yeah, I love that. <laughs> like the yeah, well, it's um, breathe in peace and breathe out love. Oh. And it's, you know, the circles are, are very meditative. And um, there's a girl meditating here. Yeah. It's a Catholic um, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> mother and son here with the in the altar. And it's an old piece of um, Baroque art. Okay. Um, but I, I really have... Oh, I did, I did add, I haven't done any lace or anything, any fabric or whatever. And today I decided that I would get out a little baggie because I have my sewing stuff downstairs. So I kind of looked through that and pulled out some stuff, um, maybe to add some little bits of this. And I, I did right here, like my, my crow that holds this flap shut and holds my nun in. Um, I put that on there. But uh, I, this is not what I was going to show you. What I was going to show you is I actually the page you have. She's here. What's that? Say a quick hi to Angie Stone and then continue. Hi Angie. <laughs> hi Angie. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I'll just interrupt you for that and then you go back. Oh okay. Um. So. What I've been doing is I'll go back in and I'll doodle one day or I'll kind of write in it when I'm feeling stressed out. You know, that's where I finish this one off or when I want to color or because I've had my knee up and I've kind of been laid up and I'm kind of bored. And um, but it's kind of hard to feel creative when you're not feeling very good. So. Very true. Honestly, it's I have spent less time on this than I would like to have done it. Yeah. But what I do is make these these uh, kind of backgrounds and some colors and like that one's further along. This one I haven't even written in yet. This one is like the base. So these are gel prints that I put down and and some mm -hmm. uh, gel crayon. Luce is here. Luce Mercado is here. Hello. Luce. <laughs> 
Hello. 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 Like an echo. I like, um, I like that create. That's really cool. I did that with, um, well, it's a stencil, but it's a little raised because uh -huh. I used a little modeling paste. Nice. Um, so I've just basically got the first layer down on a bunch of these. And that's what I've been working on. Like, and uh, maybe some words. Usually those go last, but I felt like that sets the theme for the page like when i'm ready to go back in and and play with it yeah um that one's a little further along i know i shared a picture but this one's these ones are really plain um basically just covering the words on the pages uh -huh. in the in the in the original book um i did this like belt buckles oh, <laughs> i thought that was fun yeah i like it Great place to experiment, though. I love this spread here. This is gel plate and digi. Uh huh. Um, this one is like a wintry sort of plaid and vintage magazine pieces. And, you know, these are all just a vanilla base, basically. Okay, uh -huh. maybe a mint chocolate chip base. Because <laughs> then I'll go back in and add stuff. Right. Um, gel, gel prints again. Um, the very first layer here, I got napkin on here. That's what I should do is, um, go over this with some Maj Posh when I'm done. Um, maybe we'll do, maybe we need to do Saturday night live on art journal and we can just work on like, how do you just do start with the bases on these pages? Because, you know, like Gigi's saying, she'd like to do this kind of stuff, but how, she doesn't really know how to, okay, I've got my page in front of me. How do I make just a base like that that I can then build on or write on or add to as I go along? And you know what I mean? So we can um, absolutely we can do that. And really, Gigi, thank you so much. But I don't I think I, I appreciate the compliment. I feel like anybody can do this. This is I mean, it's just about, um, you know, pulling some colors out that you like. Mm -hmm. This is just paper bag and some napkin uh, that uh, Marianne sent me this week. Um, that I really, really like. So I just, you know, cut some of it out, but it doesn't have the layer of Maj Paj over it. So it's not really blending in yet. Um, this go. is, I look at here. I folded it down and made pockets, you know, like you do for a junk journal, I but you know, or when you have a reader's digest and you make a turkey. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I just um, cleaned my gel plate or my uh, stencils over that with a baby wipe. I yeah. just, Put my dirty stencils on there and cleaned them to get this color. Yeah. And so as you're wiping them with the baby wipe, everything you wipe off the stencil kind of rubs over the top of the book right. page that's in between the stencil cutouts. So it's in kind of an easy way to get a reverse or not a reverse, but get, to get the stencil without even using any. Right. And get some light color. And it's a great way to clean your stencils. Usually, it's yeah. Very That's awesome. the only time I clean my stencils, unless there's some crusty paint on there, and then I have to go soak them. But the paint usually just comes right off. But this is from ink, you know. Oh, yeah. So I want to tell you a couple things. So mm -hmm. um, Doug and I today met the lovely Miss Angie Stone and her husband, Perry, for lunch. Oh, and, really? Uh-huh. And it was really nice. We went and um, I had pho. I always have pho. I love pho. <laughs> and everybody else had whatever they wanted. But, but And Lucy, of course, went with us. And we had a really nice oh. lunch. But um, Angie um, makes these. She decorates shoes. Not shoes, not just shoes, but their heels, like a stiletto or, you know, a really nice heel. Uh-huh. If you have not seen the pictures in the group, I did get her to post them in the group. There's like 12 of them or something. Oh, wow. Go check them out. They are gorgeous. Purple and white, elegant. Like as a as like something, something you would wear after or something you put on your shelf? Like something that could be a centerpiece and people would just ooh and all over. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Absolutely. That's cool. Gorgeous. Yeah. And so those are in the group. And then she does drawings as well. And so she just said that she did get some of her drawings up there. Um, I asked her to do that because we all get inspired by all these different types of art. Yes. 
And yes. those shoes just really inspired me. And I oh, that's so cool. Them. The other thing I want to tell you is that yesterday in the mail, I got a package from Miss Luz Mercado. And it was something that I bought from her at um, a weekend market um, last month. And she had taken, oh my goodness, we're on camera. I can show you. Let me <laughs> I'm reading the comments. And thank you so much for the compliment on the journal, Luz. I appreciate that. Oh, Julie's turning her sound off now. <laughs> Hanging out with mom, watching us party over here. We're partying. Friday night out with the girls. Um, anyway, this is just a uh, base layers. And you know, it looks for some people, this would be done. Um, but I'm a, I like busy art. I've always liked busy art. That's just, you know, that's why I do like sort of assemblage and, um, that sort of stuff because I like all the different textures and I'm all about the busy, but, uh, you know, it's like, uh, strips of paper. And I basically had a bucket of scraps downstairs and then the, uh, a few digi kits and gel plate, uh, prints and started using up paper. Um, and Oh, like these ones, I tucked these in here because I knew I wanted to use these next on here and I just hadn't figured out what else goes with it. But I'm just getting the base layers down, basically. This is something I printed. It's vintage wallpaper. It feels like fall, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, you're not even going to believe this. <laughs> I was carrying it around the house today, talking to somebody on the phone, describing it to them. And I don't know where I set it down. Oh, so you lost it? Yes, I lost it already. I just oh, my it. goodness. <laughs> so that's as far as I got. Basically, I'm working, you know, so many pages ahead and giving myself a variety of things that I can doodle on, color on, glue things to, add stuff, you know, that I come across, add words, you know, and I'm doing them in stages. So I always have, you know, five or six that I can choose from. But I'm really not done with even some of these yet. And you guys, we started this art journal process. Um, uh, I don't even remember when now. I'm, I'm The time oh, eludes me. Um, and look at this. I am like that far what? into it. But you some of this is because I've been laid up. Yeah. But you're doing yeah. great. It's, I, and I've taken out a lot of pages. It's, wow. it's that close to getting no a gator mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be time to start the next book. That's um, right. Well, and yeah. this is also, you know, I've written in here a lot. Uh -huh. I hate this layout right here. I'm going to change this one. Mm -hmm. um, it was one of my first ones, right. but I, I still go back and I write in it, you know, things that pertain to the feeling on those pages right. or, you know, things that I, if I have some feelings that I needed to get out, like this is a spiritual page. Mm -hmm. Um, and today I even added words to that and I haven't touched this for a while, but I go in with, you know, little colored gel pens and go around the outside. And I know we've talked about that or, you know, I've, I've taken a stamp and done several pages. Just, I felt like, you know, stamping, I guess, mm -hmm. or felt like I was ready to add stamps. Um, I don't know why that's all of a sudden coming up. This was so fine. I'm going to have to tell you. Okay. Tell me. It's because I don't know where I set it down. It's probably Here's the card Ivy gave me tucked in this pocket right here. The card she sent yeah. me. I know where yeah. that is. That's in the studio on my desk. Um, yeah, it's probably sitting right in front of me too, which cracks me up. That's usually how it is. And when I <laughs> probably. When I grab it to like show my glasses on my head when I look for them. Yes, exactly. Okay. So y'all know what a piano roll is, the roll of piano paper. So Luz took a um, roll of piano paper and uh -huh. um, unrolled it and uh -huh. um, put a big piece of lace. I try to remember the dimensions. She can probably tell me, but it's, I, I want to say like a half a yard of lace on this uh, roll of piano paper. And then on top of that, she adhered um, 
cut out pieces of fabric like in a quilt design that there's a I bought this one because it was a friendship flower and so if you've ever seen that quilt design you cut out every little piece of the flower in the different fabric and then they all go together and then when you quilt them down you have this um really nice friendship flower and so she did them all in fabric and then adhered okay. them to um the the lace that was on top of the music like with glue or sewn yeah I, I believe they're glued yeah and um it just is so cool and then left all the rest of the music paper on so there's probably another half a yard of just the piano player piano you know uh, paper uh -huh. and um and then rolled it back up and it's huh. just it's just cool. I mean, what a cool idea. She just Yeah, it is. It it's kind of like on the they on the big wood bo uh uh spool. Uh-huh. The the mix of uh fabric and um yeah. paper scraps kind of like a just Is just, it kind of like a snippet roll? Um no. It's it's the whole roll of piano paper so it's like a 12 inches wide. Mhm. Mm rolled and so the first half a yard is covered with lace like a sheet of white lace like lace fabric uh-huh you know, old big lace and then on top of that is adhered this quilt pattern of this giant flower and the flower Aww. is probably 10 inches wide so it almost covers the entire thing it's just like I'll find it. I mean, as soon as we quit talking about it it'll pop yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see it. That's really exciting. That's really, pretty. That's really just, cool beautiful job with it and I, yeah it was unique and it, it's it's really inspiring I look at it loose and it inspires me to want to try something you know create my own design on a on a um, music role I just thought it was a wonderful idea you know I, that is really cool is yeah. it the short music rolls like this guy like the yeah like one of those yeah yeah I'm excited to see it yeah it's really really pretty I haven't had the heart to break this yet um, or to cut it, whatever. Yeah, that's, yeah, the whole thing is there. And so um, she could just put it like that's when cool. you, you were to pull that out a half a yard, that first half a yard has her art on it. And then if you keep pulling, the rest of it's the, the music paper. Huh. So, yeah. So really can cool. you, you could hang it on your wall on the roll still. Yeah. Or, exactly. yeah. yeah. That oh, would be cool. Perfect. Please, Luz, post some in the group so people can see. Yeah, some I'd like to see. Because she did a bunch of them, and they were all really pretty, and every one of them was different. That's as cool. Half a, half a yard collaged, and then the rest of it is um, still the the music paper. And so, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, this page is done. This I know I've shared, but this is my this is my favorite one. This is um, uh, my splat papers and some uh painted pages some painted papers and i love this i love all the little details it almost looks like a stormy sky is it what is it about that that makes it your favorite is it the color um it the it's something i would hang on my wall it really actually looks because it's paint yeah and it really looks like um an interesting uh piece of art to me okay um i love the colors and just the i do too texture of it. I don't know if you can see there's there's metallic in places. Oh, oh I see big I see the metallic huge. That's part of the reason. And then it, yeah. And then it's like this is like watercolor. Uh-huh. Um the way it bleeds out. Right. And this is some of that paper that I made with lace and um spray. And yeah. I just I love it so much. I yeah. Um but then this one I haven't done anything to. I did glue this on here today. I haven't done anything to it. It's a little tuck spot. Wow. Uh, um, this one I really like too, though. Same thing with the colors in this one. But there's only a few done in here for all the pages I've I've <laughs> completed. It really, yeah. I mean, there's just a hand, a small handful that are finished sure. because I haven't gone back in with a stencil or stamps or right. uh and then i can write on them you know like a journal writing sure. you know yeah <clears throat> and sometimes i do that with an art journal just write as i go write what i want to write that day with it you know that right so i have been kind of doing that some pages but not all pages so i don't know and then i'll cover it if i feel like it's negative 
uh, feelings or if it's, you know, cause I want it, I want to get it out of my system and then I want to not, not that it's negative, just negative things in my life. Sure. Um, I, I don't really try we to think negative. <laughs> so what's have, that? We all have those days that are not all positive and rainbows and, you know, I, in my brain, I've, I, I really try not to, yeah. I, tr I try not to think that way. I do um, but I, I have no control over, you know, like I went in for a cortisone shot and now I need surgery. That makes me feel negative. <laughs> you know, like things I can't control like that. Those would be the kind of things that I would maybe go there and, and I can't, and I'll write about. Um, anyway, that's just uh, all I wanted to share. I didn't do that, Ivy. She saw somebody today who did pop cans. They cut out um, frames and embossed the frames. Uh, I have seen using soda cans, you know, to run them through the die cut machine and, and, and cut out things with them or cut them out by hand. But, but you, some, st uh, some dyes you can use with them or, or to emboss them. I have seen them embossed. I haven't done it, but I've seen it. They do look really, really cool when they're embossed. <laughs> Ivy called her son and asked him to save energy drink cans for her. Nice. <laughs> well, way to get that. Um, yeah. Saving. I think um, uh, the Bohemian, uh, Bohemian crafting, she uses metal cans all the time. She'll huh. make little tags and um, right. picture frames and, you know, things like that. Little latches, little, and um, swivels for, you know, like I did with the, with the bird back there oh, yeah. um yeah i it feels like it would be sharp and i'm accident prone i'd probably cut myself yeah <laughs> you know, I think that it's not bad once it's you know i, I don't know <laughs> but i still haven't done it because yeah i was a little concerned about that myself <laughs> yeah You're telling me i'm, I'm just not feeling oh yeah i remember that margie but uh, yes, I remember that crocheting together to make hats and yes. and <laughs> um, lampshades. <and> <laughs> yep, yep we crochet around them and then sew them together, to make purses. They were like granny squares, but they were like soda pop squares, and yeah, yeah, yeah. They were pretty horrible, Ivy. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty horrible. Yeah, they were. Oh, why? I hate to even say that in case somebody still does that. And I'm sure everybody's uh, vision is different, you know, like, and the way they make things is different. Yeah. It's funny. One, yeah, and, you know, my opinion does not make or break anything. So if I don't care for something and somebody right. says it should never stop them. Or vice versa. If I do like something and they don't, they don't. Right. Have We're all different. Art is subjective. Yep. <laughs> Ivy said that when, when you were embarrassed to say you were a crafter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth, Ivy. Yeah. It was a, it was a thing. <laughs> it was a thing to be a crafter back then. Not, you know, not like now it's a thing. You know? <laughs> like a, or we all just got older. Is yes. that possible? No. I've thought of that before. <laughs> uh, uh, Eva like, does, does everybody do this or just everyone in our age group? <laughs> um, Eva, Eva, is she the Bohemian crafter? Yeah. Is, she? is that the one you're talking yeah. about? Mm -hmm. I love her. Uh, yeah, I like her a lot too. I love steampunk. We were discussing that today. I'm itching to do steampunk. So um, I'm going to throw this at you. Um, have you ever done an altered, in mixed media, have you ever done an altered uh, paintbrush, Sharon? Um, no, I've done a lot of altered other things. Yeah. Um, but And I've seen a lot of the paintbrushes. Um, I never have a paintbrush that's like, that I'm ready to, give no. up on like that you could get a brand new one doesn't even mm -hmm. you know yeah um, i think it would be way more fun if it was all painted from years and years, yeah. and years like that 
Yeah, sometimes it is. It makes the bristles go here and there and everywhere. Um, uh -huh. But sometimes, you know, a new one that's just all laying flat that you can um, do whatever on is cool too. But uh, I, I've I, done it. Ivy's I, done that. Did you oh, see that? Post it. I would really love to see it. Yeah. I have been itching to do an embellished um, paint brush. I really have been itching to do that. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to do a Saturday night live? Um, yeah, we can do that. Um, brush or two or however many. Would you like my bottle art? Yeah. Well, but it doesn't, it's not going to take as long and be quite as many steps, I don't think. Although, <laughs> although I do feel like I would coat the bottom. I mean, first coat it with gesso, whether black or white, depending on what I was going to do with it. So then it does have to have time to dry. So I might have um, two so I could coat one and have it drying while I coat the next one and then. You know, hey, even. Gigi, she says she doesn't see there's a point to altering paintbrushes and Pringles cans and stuff. Oh, Here's the point is just for the joy of art and exactly. then display it. Yeah, it's just a piece of art. It's just it, instead of putting it on a canvas, as you know, it, the um, paintbrush becomes the canvas. Uh huh. It's just a different shape. So it makes you think differently because you have to do something differently. Uh, that's all. It's really about getting messy. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh-huh. And I like to get messy. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> it's All like right. when you're doing art, you have permission to get messy. Uh-huh. Yeah. And to let go and just... Yeah. No, JJ, you're not weird. It's, and that's why there's so many millions of different kinds of art. Because everybody likes it, you know, their own thing. It's Absolutely. Wonderful. You know, whatever it is. And art is subjective. We all like different stuff. Exactly. If you like it and it makes you happy to do it, then do it. It's great art. It doesn't matter if anybody else likes it or enjoys doing it or yeah. not. It doesn't even matter if we don't care to do it. It's um, Yeah. I yeah. Uh, have a stack of paintings in my uh, storage. That's And I don't paint anymore, really. But mostly I felt like, why I, I have this whole stack of paintings and I told Dylan that's his inheritance. So uh, I, yeah. I better get famous before, uh, before I go so that he has some money, <laughs> but um, I just do what I love and I have to tell myself it's okay to just do it for the sake of doing it. Right. Not um, end goal or, you know, yeah, I've never once tried to sell a painting or, have a I mean, that's just not, they're all like pieces of my soul. Right. It's really hard. It's, it's just really hard to do. Yeah. To uh, feel okay with it. Okay. I'm getting stencils out. I moved hers to an art palette with a bunch of decoupage and used it as a project idea board. I love that. I love that. The idea of gesso really is not to not it, always to cover something up, but to make something have the ability for something else to stick to it. Like I put a little gesso on the front of these because they're slick. They're that slick stuff that the Bow Bunny Brads come on, you know, very shiny. And whatever I put down is not going to stick to it because it's too shiny and slick. So I just put a little bit of gesso. If you like what's there, but you want something to have the ability to stick to it, and like a magazine page that's very glossy and slick, use clear gesso. Then it doesn't cover it up, but it lays down a primer base, essentially. Like when you paint a car, you got to paint with primer. If you ever paint a wall and you put kills underneath, that's exactly you know the same kind of thing. But um, it's just giving you a base that other things build on. And if you like it, what's there and you want to see through it, but you need that primer base, use clear, use clear gesso for sure. I decided next time, cause I'm almost out of white gesso. I have lots of black, but yeah. I decided next time I'm going to, instead of buying more gesso, I'm going to buy the marble dust and make my own. Huh. So I, I can continue to make my own gesso. Yeah. I don't have any black, but I, I just take the white and I add some black paint to it because I don't have any black. 
but I do love black. I want to do one black and one white paintbrush. Cover, you know, start with a base of gesso. Um, why, why, why would they be black? Or you mean you want to do it all black and all white? I want to cover a paintbrush with black gesso, and then build uh -huh. on. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Art, and I want to cover a different paintbrush with a white gesso, and have that be the base for that piece of art. You're talking about gesso, and now I now I must have it. <laughs> now I must. Must have gesso. That's right. I'm going to do a little finger painting. Cool. So I'm not giving myself any rules or regulations with these uh, art journals, all, or my art journal also. Like, I could, you know, get as goopy as I want with medium or not because I'm gluing enough of the pages together to make it strong. Cool. So that's one of the things I've been wanting to get up here to do was to play with this upstairs where I have all my other mediums available. Yeah. So my DIY gesso is great. I never buy it any longer. Oh, cool. Ivy, you told me how to use that and I don't think I wrote it down or how to use it, how to make it. I don't think I wrote it down and I need to. Because I think that that was um, brilliant and it worked. Well. So is that with the marble dust and the white paint, Ivy? If she remember, if you remember off the top of your head, maybe you could just type it in chat. It's. I've only ever seen one recipe for gesso. Can you write it down for me? <laughs> no marble dust. Oh. I remember when she huh. made it, though, she was ordering the stuff, and she told me what she was going to use, and, and it was a recipe that came from huh. somebody. Um, well, I've, I've seen people use baby powder. Uh, mm -hmm. Calcium carb carbonate, I believe, is what it's actually called. It's marble mm -hmm. dust. They call that marble dust? I think so. I think that's, or there's another like name like that for it. It's it is mar it's actually marble dust <laughs> from when they cut marble. Okay. I'm sorry. That's like calling a stapler a tiny attacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A it's a, it's the name of the element, I believe. And I don't know if calcium carbonate's the right name for it or not i mean i i don't know i call it marble dust um it's you know it's the dust that they make with nothing else in it it's not okay. anything added to it or anything like that it's just you know the dust that's made when they cut marble she used talcum powder white paint and elmer's glue oh, oh, okay Gigi did oh, okay um and Ivy's saying, yes, that's right, Sharon, to use um, calcium carbonate. Mm -hmm. That's just what the element is called. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I used calcium carbonate. What else is calcium carbonate for? I got to go let my dog out. I think Bill is home, so I'm going to have to have him, like, take her. I was going to say, you're not going down the stairs, are you? Just call to I him. have to. Do you hear her barking? Yeah. At the bottom of the stairs? Down She's the um, closed in because I closed can't the you, door up. Oh, well, can't you oh, call to No, you? there's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just going to have to use my arms to lead me down the stairs, oh, gripping the rail, I guess. Hmm. Chaos, hold on. I can't. You'd hear her more if she wasn't at the bottom or if she was in this room instead. Because she's actually, you know, through another room and downstairs at, uh, at the at the corner where the door is. <clears throat> Hold on, I got to get this off me. Can't go gripping the rail with gesso on my hands. Are you still there? I'm here. Okay, making sure. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I've cornstarch. I know can be a nice substitute for for that also um in a few recipes but i know that calcium carbonate is used for something else 
also is it um sorry i just had to answer the phone real quick sorry some other crafty uh, sort of thing that it's used for i can't uh, remember i got gesso on my pants they're not that, pants pants what were you saying i had to answer the phone i just hung up and cut the oh, end of sorry what, no what was your what i know you calcium carbonate is used for something else as well and um, i i don't know what it is carbonate is actually the uh active ingredient in antacid oh yeah it's it's calcium mm -hmm. yeah yeah it is calcium so if you take um isn't it in bath bombs it might be in bath bombs if you take a tums or you know something yeah and yeah and acid the calcium carbonate is what is what works makes that mm -hmm. effective uh is it bath bombs have you ever made bath bombs i have not ivy doesn't make uh, use talc but she uses cornstarch calcium carbonate yes uh, to drywall paste it is absolutely used it's used in clay yep it's used in gesso oh cool I think, I think the bath bombs. Bombs. okay i'll be back i'm gonna okay. go uh make sure that bill got his uh, okay. dinner i'll be back in five minutes okay it'll take and you that long, long the stairs and up again take, what's that <laughs> it'll take you that long just to get down the stairs and up again okay, i'll see you in 10 minutes be careful <laughs> okay i will 10 minutes holy cow we could do a whole lot in 10 minutes <laughs> i got a i got a brace on so <laughs> oh good that'll help a little so Luz posted the piano rolls that she made in the group so you guys go check them out they're really beautiful uh, I love when y'all post all the things that you do. I can't wait to um, see Angie, the pictures, the drawings that you did. Um, I just, I love all the different forms of art there because I find inspiration in all of them in different ways, um, different things. So you guys want a couple of uh, ideas of what's coming up on the sale, the big um, big blowout sale. Anybody curious? Joint compound. Ah, oh, that might work. He should be carrying her back up the stairs, huh? Ah, oh, there's Mr. H. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Hello, honey. <laughs> Coming in to say hi to the ladies. Um... Oh, yes, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. They're too busy. They're not going to say hi because they're too busy trying to wonder what's going to be on the sale. <laughs> oh, Julie, how nice of you. Hi, Doug. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. What I didn't bring out was any, I, man, it's weird being here with not my stuff. I don't have anything except scraps of ribbon and lace <laughs> and some ink. I don't have any... Um, any flat back um, pearls or any bling or anything. That's kind of cool right there. Huh, little wave there. So, okay, one of the things that I forgot that I had was saving for some special time. And when does a special time come? Well, it's going to come in two weeks. Um, it is... Oh gosh, I don't even remember what it's called. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you everything that it does, but I will tell you that it is like, um, it's a tool, because we will have one hour where we have some tools and I've got some new tools. Um, although a lot of the tools have sold even after the sale, people messaging and asking for certain tools. So, uh, but this is a tool and this is a tool that, it's like a pack of tools in one, and it does lots and lots of things. Um, I can't remember what it's called, so it doesn't even matter. I can't tell you. because <laughs> Not that I'm withholding that. I just can't even remember what it's called. But it does, it, it'll do like the things of 10 different other tools, all in this one tool. And... It, if I remember right, it retails at like $139, I think it was. 
I'll have to double check. Oh, the suspense is killing you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Margie, I see your problem. I, I just need to keep running back there for things. Um, I think if I remember right, it retails at $139 and we will auction it off and we'll start pretty low so that audience can set the price on that. But I'm pretty excited about that because it's a really neat tool that I've been saving. Um, I've got two huge bins full of stamps, um, mostly, uh, yeah, not a Dremel, <laughs> not a Dremel, like a crafting tool. It's a crafting tool, but it's like a grouping of tools, like a, uh, you know, like a, uh, craftinator or something, you know, that has five, 10, 15 different tools in it. One thing. Um, I, I no, I don't believe it is memory keepers. Mm -mm. Um, okay. So I've got these two huge bins of stamps. One is used stamps. Um, might only have been used once, but I can see that there has been ink on them that I got from an estate purchased. I just sight unseen. I purchased a whole bin of them. And then the other bin is all brand new unused stamps. And there, I've got a ton of them. And those are, there's some really cool ones in there. There are a few that I'm pulling out to put in specific uh, journal kits because they really go with it. And so I'd want somebody who get, gets the journal kit to have, um, you know, a special stamp. There are some that I have multiples of more than one of the same stamp, which is kind of cool. Um, Glynis isn't here yet, is she? She should be here anytime. Julie, message Glynis and make sure she comes in. Because one of the stamps that I have that is super cute is a penguin. And I'm doing a penguin journal kit. Uh, Glynis had asked for that. And so I, all the journal kits are going to be um, ready. Uh, cross your fingers um, for that weekend. And uh, boy, there's a lot of them. Um, we might need to do a full day of just journal kits, or it might be that we do Friday with everything. And then Saturday is only journal kits. I don't know. Um, I guess it depends on how many there are, but I, you know, with a journal kit, I have to go through everything because you have to see everything that's in it before you make a decision. Um, but some cool journal kits. And every time I go to tell somebody some of the topics, I can't think of them. And, uh, and there's like 20 of them, literally at least everything from circus to minions to camping to golf. Ivy had said golf when I asked what kind of journal kit you wanted. I've got a golf journal kit. I'm so excited. Um, to uh, cooking and gardens and flowers and botanicals. And uh, I said circus, um, uh, angels, um, butterflies, dragonflies, I mean, there, I've got journal kits uh, based around all kinds of things, and I'm really excited about those. I just, I love, I love putting those together. Um, I'm working on putting a kit together right now for somebody, not for the sale, but she just special requested it. Here's how much I have to spend, and um, this is the kind of kit I would like. And and it's oh, lighthouses. One of them is lighthouses, and I think Kathy Lake was the one that asked for that. Um, vintage, most definitely, um, will be one of the, one of the themes of the journal kits. Um, in one of the estates that I bought, I got, uh, a ton, bye honey, hasta luego. <laughs> um, looking for a stamp that said, this book belongs to, hmm, I might have one of those. I might have one of those. Gigi asked for penguin too. Yes. Um, owls. Yes. Okay. Gigi, there will be more than one penguin kit. You did ask for penguins and Glynis asked for penguins. Both of you. And I found the cutest penguin stuff. Um, so yeah, there's going to be more than one penguin kit. And my goal is to make them identical. So there won't have, you won't have to worry about choosing or missing out on something that's in the other one, but, um, definitely. And the penguin stamp, I have more than one of, so there'll be one of those in each one. 
Angie, um, you might have to remind me, And what, but when we do the stamps, if that comes up and I forgot to pull it out, I will give you first shot at it because I'm pretty sure there's one in there that says this book belongs to you. Pretty sure. An owl, there will be an owl kit, and I'm hoping that there will be enough to do more than one owl kit because I know a lot of people like owls, but Gigi gets first shot at that owl kit. Um, we might have a kitty cat kit. Or might be a cat and dog, you know, kind of kit. You're a golfer, well, was, and a dancer, again, was. <laughs> I know, Angie, we all go through all those, the things, the things, the things of getting old. Don't like the things. Look at this. I took um, wire and just sitting around watching TV or something and, and uh, bent it to say smile. Can't hardly see that, can you? Yeah, you can see it down there. Smile. <laughs> um, what other themes? I know there's other themes and I can't think of them right now. I said angels, right? There's one on hearts or love. So there's just tons of heart stuff in there. There is one that is, um, I'm not exactly sure what to title it, but it's like out of the ordinary textures and things. So instead of plain paper, maybe it's cork paper or other pa there's paper made out of multiple different things. Um, and, and other things, you know, that are not just like ordinary. So like different, uh, gosh, what do you call them? Materials, different materials other than just paper and fabric, but, um, uh, interesting. That's what it is. Interesting, interesting materials. Um, oh, remember, a lot of you got that gorgeous handmade blue. Um, oh, you just cut out a whole page of Tulipa Tufasi. Wow, you're doing good. Tufasi got some for me. I, I don't get very far with that. <laughs> a lot of you got that gorgeous blue handmade um, paper. Remember that? That we got a killer deal on. Well, from the same guy at the same warehouse, the same vendor that I get stuff from, um, he had a little bit of um, black. That was blue. It was like a dark, most of it was dark, navy blue. And it had a little bit of glitter, not the kind that really comes off, but is on the paper. Um, and some had design in it. Well, they all had design. They all had something. I don't want to say there was like 12... 12 different pages and every single one of them was different and they're all handmade, just absolutely gorgeous. And he had a little bit of black that's very similar to that. And so I got all he had of black. It He didn't give me quite the good deal that he did on the blue. Actually, here's what happened. When I went down the first time, it was his assistant manager guy that I worked with. And he didn't really know the prices of some of the things. So like that blue paper, <laughs> we got the, that, like that whole pack of blue paper you got for 10 bucks. Yeah. He didn't realize how expensive that paper is. So um, it was the manager guy that I worked with this time. And so it didn't get quite as good a deal, but still a killer deal, way less than retail. Um, did everyone give a thumbs up? Oh. Cool. Thank you. I could do a thumbs up over here. How many thumbs up are there? Because that doesn't, it doesn't show on StreamYard and on my YouTube, it only says three. So that can't be right. So yeah, so there's going to be some black handmade paper that is um, pretty darn cool. I'm excited about that. Um, did I say that one of the estates, I got a ton of vintage lace. His loss our gain. Exactly. That is exactly right. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of vintage lace and so we've got doilies and hankies. Um, but there's going to be like some lace that I'll do, you know, by the yard. And then there's some that uh, obviously this lady, lady was a sewer and a crafter because there was a whole thing that I bought sight unseen that was full of small lengths of lace. You know, they might only be, 
it's six inches long. They might be 18 inches long, but smaller. And so I'm going to take a bunch of that and um, put them together and make uh, like lace packs. Um, that way you can get a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, lace, a lot of different kinds of lace in the in a pack and um, different colors, different designs, all those different things. And I thought that that would be a lot of fun because I like that. I like being able to go through a little baggie like that and um, choose a piece of lace from a whole bunch of them. That was neat. Oh, I got some cool vintage fabric. Um, let's see. And I only, I only got into a couple uh, boxes today, but I did bring, oh, hang on a second. I want to turn this off. It's going to be way noisy. Um, I only got into a couple of boxes today, but I found that I'd forgotten about a whole thing of um, old patterns, like, you know, McCall's or Simplicity ladies' dress patterns. String them on rings and people can hang them up to cut up from. Yeah, that's awesome. Maybe I'll do, I should have pulled out all the rings out of all those, those uh, packs we had last week, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oh, that would have been perfect, Gigi. I should have taken all, uh, kept all those rings and used those, and everybody would have gotten a ring with their, with the lace. But that is really a great idea to have it up there and just have a, a ton of laces on it, you know, around in a circle. Actually, I have a bunch hanging above my desk like that, um, and I've got I'm back. all the colors of the rainbow on it. That's a really, a really good idea. I think maybe I'll do that. Thanks for the suggestion. I think what it I missed for people to see what's what's there. Oh, I'm just giving them some hints and ideas of what's going to be at the sale. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, I've got some very cool old books too that are going to be a lot of fun. I don't, I'm just really having problems with this. Uh, <clears throat> With this tag today, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. It's not, it's not working. I, might just, my I haven't been at here. my desk in so long that I'm a little discombobulated myself. Yeah. Well, I've been discombobulated today because we didn't have a sale, and that's what I do on Friday, and it's really thrown me off. Yeah. Really thrown me off. I don't know why. So, I don't know. I don't know. I might just need to set this aside and deal with it later because not happening. It's just not working. Do what uh, makes you happy, you know. I think I might grab my art journal here, which is sitting right here, and then just uh, play in it. Good idea. You need some art journal time. I do. I've got these gel prints I could put some in. I happen to have uh, gelatos and colored pencils sitting here from when I was coloring with Evie yesterday. Um, Ivy, I will. Um, uh, soon, I just uh, haven't been able to do it every week because um, I have a lot of other things going on right now. And it's just, um, so I, I do uh, go in when I can. And um, hopefully this next Friday, uh, okay. but that's going to depend on my surgery stuff um, and yeah. what we find out. Like and w how soon they're gonna get me in? So, yeah, but I'm gonna first try time. to get some stuff together for this next Friday. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to take care of your health first, Gigi. Yeah. You got to take care of Joe first, and you know, got to take care of us and the family, all the family first before we do anything That's else. Right. And, yeah. Gigi bought two of the packs of hardware, and she didn't want the rings, so she gave her rings away to two people, and. Margie, I should have kept them. Hardware for what? Oh, at the head of the sale last week, and I was telling them about lace, and and she says put it on rings, oh. so you know, somebody could just hang up the ring, and 
and um, cut off a piece of lace, you know, when they want it, put it in color and like, yeah, I should have kept all those rings from last week's sale, huh? <laughs> I, I have been collecting napkin rings for oh. years and years because I figured out fun things to do with them in home decor. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I was decorating for people yeah. and uh, I would use them also in uh, mixed media uh, assemblage style. Mm -hmm. I was doing assemblages before assemblages had a name, by the, the way. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Before they were a thing. Um, yeah, but I uh, uh, figured out a way w in tech theater when I was doing theater uh, set designs and stuff. I was using them for stuff. But I have a great big box full of napkin rings, like different, mm -hmm. all different kinds. And I look at them and they're so beautiful and interesting. And now I don't know what to, what to do with them. Um, I too, but I, I would use them at different different holidays and every month that when we entertained, I would set them out with napkins. And so I just always, Oh wanted yeah. I, I've never used them for what they were meant, meant to be used for. <laughs> okay. Never, never. Okay. I guess I'm going back to this one. Mm -hmm. It should be dry. I mean, just so dries fast and yeah. all right. <sighs> So I got these out thinking I'm going to cut them up and use them like stencils. Mm. Mm. Oh, because they were cut out? Like that. I, yeah. I thought they were stamped at first. And I'm like, no, nope. yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you thought them. they were stamps? What did you think they were? But they were stamped, and I thought you were going to cut them out. And I'm like, oh, boy, that's a lot of work. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you're nah. Your cricket. <laughs> yeah. So what happened? We, remember when we used to go to the doctor and we'd have an injury and they would send us home with a prescription for pain pills? They don't do that anymore. I don't know what even happened to the doctors. <laughs> they like gave up on us. <laughs> careful about doing that anymore because of how easy it is to get addicted. How people have mistreated them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I... <laughs> I was I, thinking about that, about like, wow, the world has changed. Huh? Oh, that's funny. I can sure use the help right now. Margie's home decor is called Early American Junkyard. I love it. Doing Ivy, what? Ivy fell asleep during last week's sale. Dick found her with her glasses on, phone blaring with Marianne on in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, when somebody's there and then just all of a sudden not, and it's getting late at night, I assume that they fell asleep because it, you would be, you would maybe be surprised how many people that happens to, and then they wake up and they're like, Oh dang it. I dozed off. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Yep. All right. I need a color. Probably gonna go over this with a couple colors. Uh oh, Amanda's back. No. Uh, is, is Amanda? Oh my goodness. I am having a problem with aimings today. With what? Uh Mama Bear. What's <laughs> Amber. Oh. Amber. 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 Hi, Amber. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm not reading the I'm not looking for Ray. Yay, she's back. And she brought us some of that great mix to eat. <laughs> oh, she brought snacks. <clears throat> yeah. Yay. Does it help to tell you that I'm hungry? I do have a cup of tea here. I do have a cup of hot chocolate. I should drink that. Oh, I brought up water. I realized I had forgotten mine, so it kind of worked out. Julie has no idea that is listening to us because she has to have the phone off quiet because her mom's there and her mom dozes off and she listens to us, but she has to be able to hear her mom with one ear in case she needs her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Nice. Oh, Luce is making fabric covers. Thanks, Amber, for being so understanding. I am totally off today because I'm supposed to have a sale on Friday and, and I, it just my brain is not doing what it's doing. Weird person, <laughs> mama style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she brought snacks. Weird purse food. <laughs> Every mama knows, huh? <laughs> Amber um, always mm -hmm. makes me laugh so hard. 
I can see that with the weird person. Yeah. She has yeah. the best sense of humor. Great, huh? <laughs> hmm. All right, let's see here. Nothing like guzzling hot chocolate because you're hoping it's food because hungry. Was it hot? No, it's been sitting here since we started. And I just remembered that I have it sitting here. And so now it's not hot anymore. It's just warm. Squashed granola bars. Mm, I have some of those in my purse. Yeah. <laughs> I always keep granola bars in my purse in case Bill gets hangry. Yeah. Things with because he, hair, yeah. He them and, and crumbs off the bottom of the purse. And yeah. And that's it. Thing and a mint. There's got to be a mint here and there. Oh, yeah, I'm Ooh. sure. Julie, Keisha. Or at least a piece of saltwater taffy that's squished. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what all the crumbs stick to and all the hair sticks to. That's <laughs> uh, you know it, girl. <laughs> gross. Uh, Julie's quiche and salad sounds delish. Oh, I make quiche all the time. Mm -hmm. I raised my babies on quiche. Okay, do you have a recipe for quiche that is not like... I do. Total fat meat. Mm. Unlike every other quiche recipe on the planet. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, my way. Because I was always on a diet and always trying to make things less fattening. Uh -huh. Like the foods I liked. Yeah. And also trying to get my kids to eat healthy. Because I raised five kids. Right. And I had to feed an army. So when I made quiche, I had to make like four to six at a time. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then I had friends that loved my quiche so much, they'd get really upset if I made quiche for the family and didn't make a spare for them. <laughs> so I generally would have to call them to come get their quiche. People really um, expected you to make them a quiche when you cooked for your family? They did. They expected it. Wow. Um, <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they loved it, though. So um, mm. I started messing with recipes when my kids were little. Yeah. to do all of these less fattening sort of sure. ways to go. And I, I substituted, um, and it actually has so much more flavor than a regular quiche. Now when I have a regular quiche, I'm like, wow, this is really boring. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I substitute for, I don't use whipping cream. Uh -huh. I use non-fat or low-fat sour cream and milk. Nice. Okay. That sour cream has so much flavor in the quiche. It is unbelievable. Okay. We and need some recipe. I'm dying to try that. I will definitely uh, share a I recipe. Plenty of age. I'll just put it on our page. So if anybody else is interested, okay. they can snag it too. Can I just yeah. go to Ivy's house though? I love <laughs> jambalaya. I love, Ooh. love, love jambalaya. Oh, oh yeah. And Ivy made jambalaya today. Hmm. Yes. We don't get that around here. We get everything else, but we don't have a lot of that around here. Not a lot of Cajun food. I know. And I love it. I make paella. Oh, I do too. And yeah. I love paella. <laughs> um, I often am making it without all the various seafoods or, you know, I'll pick two meats. Oh. Yeah, I, I usually just do shrimp and maybe some fish. I don't put um, a whole bunch of different the shellfish and stuff in my paella. Um, I just I use what I have when I cook. That's yeah. just the whole. That's how yeah. I cook. Well, um, kind of the smart way to use up what you have. Oh yeah. yeah, I just well, that also comes from having five kids and you know yeah, exactly. using and I figured out how to stretch stuff too. Yes, you have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. I think that's enough of that one. I'm not really doing anything in particular here. I'm just doing what you're just doing. <laughs> okay, I felt like picking up the glue and putting something on here. So I'm putting some glue down and I'm going to put something on here. <laughs> There's no plan. <laughs> it's just. Oh, weird. thank you, Amber. She said I was a bomb cook and I spoiled oh, cool. my spoil my people you know what though i haven't been so much i've been preoccupied so no. like and i treat food like art um so when i go into the kitchen i'm all in you know uh and i have been kind of cheating a lot and you're right bill can't get fat but i think he's losing yeah. weight my skinny skinny husband i think <laughs> would would do that too i agree with you amber i think greek yogurt would be amazing with that because it has that sharp 
flavor that would add a ton. With the quiche? Yeah. Don't you think Greek yogurt would work with instead of the sour cream? It might. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, all those dairy products are similar. They're all going to cook about the same. And most people don't realize quiche is a, the a, it's not supposed to be like scrambled egg pie. Right. The eggs are to bind the cream. Right. It's, you know, so it's not as many eggs in there as you might think. So that's why it's so fattening, you know. Yeah. Um, Few yeah. eggs, lots of cream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's between two pies. Depending on the size of the egg, it's anywhere from uh, uh, six to eight eggs between the two pies. Thank you. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Amber, girl, we're all caught up on our stuff. We're going to chat here and we'll be caught up. Uh, but I'm not cut up till I have some jambalaya or some quiche or something. I'm so something. She's hungry. <laughs> Doug works till, I don't know, midnight or something. Paint out on here. What's that? And Doug works till something like midnight. But, you know, if I just go to bed early, then I won't notice that I'm hungry. So I made a corned beef today. That that's, you know, dump it in the crock pot sort of, sort of good. Corned beef, too. I didn't have cabbage and I told Bill that corned beef is in the crock pot. And he said, and he knew I didn't have cabbage. So he was like, do I need to stop and get cabbage? I said, well, if you need it, but otherwise it's got potatoes and carrots in it. Right. And so I, when I went downstairs, he was cooking cabbage. Oh, well, <laughs> at yeah. least he cooks it instead of bringing it home and saying, here, I need it. Apparently he needed it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, I just corned beef and the, and the veggies, I'm totally good with that. Yeah. I like corned beef. Yeah, me too. Makes a killer sandwich too. It does. I love canned corned beef. When I was a kid, that was what we got. You know, like mom made sandwiches out of canned corned beef all the time. And some people hate it. I know. I, I can eat it right out of the can though. I don't know anything about canned corned beef. Are you serious? I'm Dead serious. Serious? Yeah. I can't even believe that. Yeah. Comes with like a key where you have to open it with a key, you know, like okay. the old sardines. Yeah. <laughs> we never yeah. had corned beef. We never had um, corned beef. As, as a kid, we never had corned beef. Oh, wrong one. Wasn't oh, you corn. didn't? We had no. six kids and that wasn't very economical. So well, apparently. that's why my mom bought it in a can. <laughs> It's yeah. like, it's, it's with the spam at the grocery store. Oh. So yeah, I really wasn't familiar with corned beef until I became an adult and cooked it myself and went, wow, I like this. Gigi's going on us. Is that right, Gigi? Yeah. Oh, good night. Yeah, Joe's needing her tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you're feeling better and you, you're, you know, having more energy, hun. And the car is good. Take got care. Your, I got your message. Um, oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow night, Gigi. Take care of him. Take care of yourself. Get some rest. Um, oh, yeah. I see your message about the frittata, Ivy. I That is something else that I make pretty I uh, regularly because it's a lot quicker than a quiche, mostly. I do. But I... Uh, pretty frequently. Yeah. I actually use a, a spoon of sour cream in my frittata as well. Um, it just adds so much flavor. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. I could totally see that. You got to mix it really good with the egg before you add, you know, any right. milk or anything to that. Yeah. Or it won't mix up. Yeah. Uh, it, it's okay having those little tiny yeah. bits of sour cream oh, in there. Yeah. They're tasty. Yeah, it's totally fine if you bake it like that and it doesn't get mixed in. It's totally fine. They're tasty. Yeah. Tasty bits. You know, you have crusty bits on your gel plate and you got tasty bits in the frittata. Just like the the crusty crispy edges on the meat. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love a crispy edge on my pancake. Anybody else like just a crispy ring around not burn pancakes. Crispy, oh. I shouldn't eat pancakes and I don't eat them very often, but I love me a good pancake. 
I don't eat anything maple flavored. I've never liked maple, and maple that's why I don't maple. eat pancakes. Pancakes aren't maple. And if my family has to have them, I'll have jam. But why? Yeah, you don't have to have maple syrup on pancakes, and pancakes themselves aren't maple flavored. Yeah. Sometimes my, I'll put fruit on them. I'll put, favorite, you know. My favorite way to eat pancakes is to put a thick layer of applesauce on top of them and mm -hmm. then layer of uh, whipped cream or Cool Whip on top of that. Mm -hmm. That Oops. sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, that's, oh, I'm going to go make pancakes. Let's just. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> right here next to I, the I am anyway. not a pancake or french toast person because of the maple syrup and i realize you don't have to have it on there i just didn't grow up liking them because that's what it was served with when i was a kid oh i see uh so it's not something i make very often i mean unless somebody's requesting it yeah um I sure don't need but i do make cream of wheat all the time love cream of wheat yeah we've discussed me that. too <laughs> i do like cream of wheat a lot Oh, Julie's talking about crepes. I do love me some crepes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, do love crepes, too. Whether sweet or savory, they are yummy. Uh-huh. You sure are. Whose idea was it to start talking about all this food? I don't know what happened. I'm not really. <laughs> Ivy, no pancakes, slapjacks. It's... Wait, aren't those the same? Uh, no pancakes, flapjacks. Flapjacks are when you are camping. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Okay. I don't know. Uh, Ivy, what's your definition of flapjacks? Yeah, I, yeah now I need to know. <laughs> I like them. I like them thick and floppy. Because if I am having syrup, I want them to be able to soak up the syrup. And if I'm not, uh, if I'm having applesauce, I still want them thick and fluffy to have the applesauce go on it. Or a ton of berries and whipped cream. I know, Julie. I'm the one who started it. That's because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm the one She's who started it. <laughs> <laughs> Julie's salad sounds really, really good. <sighs> yeah, I haven't spent much time in the kitchen, kitchen lately. Um, besides to throw some stuff in the air fryer or the crock pot. I mean... I haven't, where I used to like treat it like an all day event, you know, oh, yeah, making so every sauce by from scratch and doing all the little extra yeah. little toppings. And I just haven't been doing that lately. Yeah. Poor and Bill. I'm, here's the thing. When, when I, I used to cook like that and, and a lot and just really enjoyed it. And now that I quote, don't have time to do that because I'm heavily involved in something else that I really love. And That's exactly where I'm at. That, then now cooking seems more of a chore because uh -huh. I, I need to do it. We've got to eat, but I'm not having that um, time spent enjoying it, creating it. It was, you know, Me too. Of, it's a creative outlet, honestly. It is. That's that's exactly what it is. And that's why, because I'm spending my time doing something else creatively, right. it and does feel like a chore because I'd rather be in my art room. Exactly. And right now, Sorry, I was, Bill. I hate to admit it. I'm starving you because I'd rather be in my art room. Oh, I don't think that he will let himself starve. <laughs> <laughs> he does know how to make macaroni and cheese. And he does know how to go buy a burger or something. Yes burrito coming out of the freezer you know when it's his night to cook he brings home teriyaki no i love teriyaki so we tease oh, honey can you, will you cook tonight oh, or oh I'm, you're such a good cook <laughs> I would cook a lot because i love teriyaki yeah <laughs> I said they did broccoli salad with pecan chicken raisins bacon carrot cheese a green mm. onion sounds so good oh that sounds awesome blueberry pancakes with extra blueberries and maple syrup cream and cream fresh and more maple syrup okay if you have blueberry pancakes they have to have extra blueberries in them because they usually put just a couple and then it's really not blueberry pancakes it's a couple yeah. of blueberries but mine's more like a blueberries with pancake yeah, little pancake with the blueberries. That's mine. Yeah. Um, you guys probably already know this trick, but just in case somebody listening doesn't know the trick, um, here's the trick to to making blueberry pancakes and having the blueberries stay whole 
and not just get all mixed up and beaten up in your batter and end up, you know, making purple batter and not having whole blueberries. The tr trick is not to mix the blueberries in with your batter. Keep the blueberries mm -hmm. outside and you mix up your batter and you pour the pancake in the pan. It starts to cook immediately. And as soon as it starts to cook, then you take the blueberry, your fingers, and you drop them in the pancake. So you can evenly space them out and put as many as you want, and they remain. That's how whole. they do it in restaurants on the grill. That and they remain whole, so that you actually get a whole blueberries, which is awesome. That's how you do it, and then you don't flip the pancake until the top of the pancake starts to dry out and gets bubbles all Bubble. the top of it. It's those bubbles that tell you it's time to flip it. And because you're only going to flip it once. Um, can you tell me more pancakes? I've become the pancake connoisseur. <laughs> oh, I know how to make them. I just, yeah, I don't, just, I just don't make them very often. I like cinnamon and sugar on them. Hmm. I like to take crepes and brush butter on it and then sprinkle cinnamon and sugar and roll them up and eat them. That is yummy. And if you don't have any crepes, the next best thing is some really good tortillas. Warm a tortilla, brush butter on the whole thing, sprinkle cinnamon and sugar on it, and roll it up. And oh my goodness. Oh, ho, ho, ho. good thing you don't have any tortillas now. <laughs> I always have good tortillas. There's actually some new ones that they've been making that taste like fresh homemade tortillas. Okay. Like when you get at the Mexican restaurant where they make them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's the street taco brand, uh, style wow. and the, the corn and flour uh, hybrid tortilla. It's yeah. got corn and flour in it. And I'm a corn tortilla lover. Cool. So that is like, mm, and there's a couple different brands making that. Yeah, that's cool. They're thick and they're, they just taste homemade. That's I could awesome. just eat the tortilla and that's weird. Oh yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. We do that all the time, especially with fresh homemade tortillas. It's very different than the stuff we buy in the store. Fresh homemade tortillas. Yeah. The best way is just to eat them, eat them plain and really get that. Yeah. Mm, that's yummy. I think I'm going to save Frida. I'm going through some, I have this digi kit, uh -huh. uh, A D A M O prints. It's just these, I mean, and I could have done these myself. It's just somebody did the work for me. Because they're all the um, the little things you find. Yep. They're already sized and everything ready to go. Um, and so I'm going to use a couple of these. Cool. I'm going to show you what I did with um, a couple of my gel prints. Yeah. Am uh, Amber makes um, amazing tortillas. Really? They're and they're delicious. And yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I took a couple of my gel prints and cut butterflies. Um, oh, that's so cool. These are snowflakes. From your uh, gel prints, huh? Yeah, this is butterflies. So cool. And I cut some of these kind of butterflies. They're beautiful. These, I, I love the... Um, the snowflakes because of the variety of color and I love the metallic uh -huh. snowflakes make, I mean, the metallic makes great snowflakes. Okay. So, now we're just going over, over a uh, board here. Um, <laughs> uh -oh, what? Uh, Cause Julie's like, and lemon meringue pie and butterscotch pudding. And <laughs> Nope. I'm done right there. I don't care for lemon meringue pie and I don't Ooh. care for scotch pudding. So Thanks for ending it, Julie. <laughs> and Ivy puts bacon in her pancakes when they're cooking. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh Ivy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to put a snowflake on the back of this butterfly and make that his spine, his body there with the little things coming out the side to add to his wings. That's what I'm going to do. I might be one on one of these guys too. Oh, Ivy, that sounds so good. <laughs> I can smell the uh, corned beef downstairs. 
Oh my goodness. Cruel. All this cruelty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. I think I'm just going to go crazy here and put these ladies on. And see, that gives me lots of place to write. And what I've been doing in here is writing with metallic gel pens and with like a white uh, uh, gel pen. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, uh, oh, plus my glass pen I've used a few times. Tweezers out here. Well, that kind of sucks. What? <laughs> I don't even have any tweezers out here. I don't have any, any tools. I don't have anything. That's okay. Oh, yeah. You're at your dining room table, aren't you? Yep. I can use fingers. Huh. <laughs> Just something I have no fingernails. <coughs> I, I do have a granola bar. Sorry, oh, guys. Even a granola bar. Sounds I am right next to the kitchen. Lemon coconut slice. Mm. Mm. That sounds good. No, no, no. I no. love lemon. Coconut. Yeah, uh, a coconut bar. Coconut. Absolutely. A coconut I love bar. lemon bars too. You know what I like is, I don't know what those bars are that have like seven different layers in them. Coconut being one of them and chocolate being one. Magic um, Christmas bars? Yeah, those. Yes, that's what those are. Love those. Hi, Glennis. We're working on killing Marianne because she's starving. And we're talking about, <laughs> about food. food. <laughs> Except I don't like lemon meringue pie and I don't like butterscotch. Hey, yeah, we missed you, Glennis. She's probably at a sale. What was it? Well, it's Friday night, so she had her standing date. Oh, her um, pub date. She'll be back by seven thirty, eight. If that's that's only eight eleven. All right, all right. But what was it I said earlier that about Glennis? Glennis isn't here because uh, she would know or want to hear something, or I can't even remember what it was now. I don't know if anybody remembers. Tell me, <laughs> Glennis. We're just hanging out. We're not really. We're just kind of working in our art journal, just kind of doodling. And um, I was sharing how I used my um gel prints earlier. I Glennis is hooked on the gel plate now. Yes, or paints. <laughs> that's so cool. No, that's awesome. Yeah. I love that she had it all that time and, and hadn't used it yet. Mm -hmm. Bye, Luz. Bye, Luz. We hope to see you again later. Well, oh, I don't know how much later I'm going to be able to stay on. And Ivy, you've got a good memory. Yes, um, I, I was talking about, we were. I was teasing them with some of the kinds of things that are going to be at the sale and that's only what I pulled out today. So uh, that's all I have can remember at the tip of my brain. That's like fried. So, but um, yeah, so I was talking about the kits and a penguin kit. It will be more than one penguin kit. And uh, the penguin kit is going to be so darn cute. I found some super cute penguin stuff, including the cutest penguin fabric and more than one penguin fabric. So you're going to get them. Um, you're going to get all the penguin fabric. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. Well, because, you know, then you can, okay, every journal kit is going to have enough stuff to do more than one journal. I mean, for sure. <laughs> you, know, you have all your base, base pa papers, you're going to use your own paper, but they will have papers. It will have theme papers, you know, to go with your theme um, for sure. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be plenty of stuff to do multiple journals. And so you could do several penguin journals and i i want to say that there's three penguin fabrics it's <laughs> so cute so cute I'm trying to decide do i want a third I got, all. I got them all i don't you know what well i was trying to decide if i wanted a third image ah and you don't i don't <laughs> i'm just making it i mean to me this is simple yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it is really because I could write over the whole thing sure. if I choose to, or I could keep adding to it or, you know, yeah. stencil on it more or stamp. Maybe I need stamps now. I, n I never do a whole journal page from beginning to end though. Yeah. I never do either. It's yeah. I, 
whatever I bounce around and, and and who knows, you know, like, like the other day, I, I just sat on my bed with some um, stamps and decided, okay, I'm just going to go through and stamp some of these. Stamp where I want to. <laughs> right. And mm -hmm. I had a small selection downstairs with me. I kind of want to pack some special boxes up tonight before I go back downstairs for my husband to carry down. Yeah. So that um, I can continue that. Um, um, I don't this is a great them. place to put things like this, though, too, you know, like the card from Ivy. Sharon, why what? Don't have him bring your tripod down, too. I could do that, yeah. You could do a live from down there. I just don't know if I have a place to put it. Um, and the more I drag down there, the more I'm going to have to drag back up. That's true. I'm if you're going to think out there for three weeks or more, right? We'll see what he, the doctor says about okay. what I'm, what we're going to be doing. Um, what's the date today? Today's the 13th. So you go in on the 16th. I have an appointment on Monday, and then uh, my uh, follow up and planning appointment on Thursday. Okay, so Monday and Thursday. Hmm. Yep. Well. You know. I'll figure it out this this week what I need to take downstairs. I think I'm going to take a cart. Just yeah. have a whole cart down there next to the bed. Bill will be like, yeah, sure. I'll just pick up this cart with my pinky and carry it down. No big deal. Would you like your desk too? <laughs> <laughs> Bill could carry it. He's pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I strong, husband. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Doesn't mean he wants to. <laughs> or you have Does anybody see my e-cigarette? No, but I just heard, I just heard you lose it. Is got it. In front of you by the credit card? I got it. Oh. <laughs> it was underneath my wax paper. That's fun. Um, have you ever been watching a tutorial and, uh, and saw that they're looking for something and it's right there on their desk and you're yelling at your TV? It's right there. To your right. To your right. Other right. <laughs> Yeah, they can't see it. But, you know. Oh, good night, Amber. Good Have night. a good night. Margie, like a rubber ball, I come bouncing back to you. Bouncy, bouncy. I <laughs> love it. <Aww. laughs> I love it. We count on it. Yeah, we love you. Oh, you know, always know that. Uh, we have friends and family here. Yep. Always. It's nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Actually. I mean, I have other friends, but I don't hang out with as much and, as and the older we get, the harder it is, you know, well, and the more pandemic there is, the harder it is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so these are special, really special moments for yeah. most of us, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, it's true. Getting all sa uh, all uh, sappy over here. And sentimental on us. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> all right. This so is I found myself a couple times where I had like a, a scrap of paper that I really liked that I wanted to save. Oh, and nice. instead of putting it in the pile, I went straight to my art journal. Really? And went, oh, nope, it'll look good on this page or this page or, you know, yeah. it's a great way to save those scraps up as you're making them. So a um, couple weeks ago on, oh, it was Halloween, Halloween on the Saturday night while you were gone, uh -huh. uh, we made a flippy flappy folder thingy. And it's really cool. It's uh, like altered file folder. And it's got. Right. I saw half of it. I need to finish it. Fold out here and there and everywhere. And you can add more on if you want, you know, as many as you want. So Glennis made one and she is using it to put in it lace that she really loves and wants to hoard. 
And oh, that's cool. that was brilliant because yeah, instead of putting paper and all the stuff, well, I should put some paper, but because sometimes you want a background, but you know, if that's the last piece of lace or she loves this lace, cut off a piece. Are and, you gluing it down or? Yeah, I think so. And maybe not the whole thing, but at least the edge of it. So it flat flips up because then you could layer and put in a waterfall, you know, multiple. Yeah. Oh, Margie was talking about bouncy, bouncy. Cause I bounce around my journal. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah. That's, <laughs> <duh. laughs> that's just what I keep doing though. It works for me. Yeah. So, um, gluing the lace in there is kind of like <laughs> when making she, a personalized desk set. Like I was uh, like the right. tutorial that I did. Like making like, a tag book. It's a lace book. And uh -huh. so when she opens it and goes through it, she can see all the laces that she loves and has a sample of, of each one of them. So even if she uses them up, she's still got a sample of the lace she loves. That's a great idea. Pretty with that. It, it, those things make me smile, you know? Yeah. Like the, the pieces that I love the most, I, I love them because they make me, make me smile. Yeah. And so looking through all the favorite things that I, you know, that's, that's a great way to do it. Yeah. I like that. I agree. Um, we are going to make one day these, these I bought and uh, Shirley made these and I bought them because uh i i uh love them so much and i wanted a sample so they're like the matchbooks however each one of these pages is a cluster it's like a thick cluster and it's a mix of and i want to do one like this sewing mm -hmm. um uh you know slow stitching oh, hand and hand stitching i mean it could be done on the sewing machine i suppose but i think this is a great way to make little clusters in a booklet like this mm -hmm. And it would be fun to, to sew each little page like this, I think. Um, so we, we'll, we should do this on a Saturday night one, one yeah, night. That would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. And should we maybe share with them the, the other part of that? They can be kind of be preparing for December. I mean, it's still a ways off, but. Um, you, mean, you mean the plan for December? The, no, just the part about with those with the swap oh yeah we could do that that would be fine um we don't do swaps and right. on a regular basis right we thought it would be fun to do a christmas swap with yeah because you know really as a, like a gift exchange really doesn't have anything to do with christmas it's just the end of the year and honestly it's be it goes with the december all about which it really does about, and we're not going to say yet, but right. Um, but but what, what we'll be doing for the, for the swap, mm -hmm. um, maybe you guys now could start putting your stuff in a basket that you want to do this with. Uh -huh. Um, Julie had said once she wished that we could go see each other's bit buckets. Yeah. And that, that was, yeah. So, I I thought it might be really nice if we make some scrap stacks mm -hmm. um, with our uh, with our paper, and uh, then we'll do something else with our bit bucket uh, that I'm not going to share yet. Right. Um, so that we can exchange them. So and, we have, uh, yeah, yeah. Do a swap with with uh, scrap stacks. Then somebody else gets fresh scraps. You know, paper that they uh -huh. have. And uh -huh. um, we get somebody else's scraps of paper we probably don't have. That would be fun. But, yeah, it will be. It's, it's It'll be a nice trade, I think. Um, and a great way to celebrate, you know, gift season, gift giving season. Our one swap of the year. <laughs> huh? Our one swap of the year. I think it's a great time to have a swap. I agree. We do a lot of, we have a lot of racks within our group, but um, yeah, that'll be our one official uh, planned swap. Not that any, I mean, anybody can do a swap anytime they want, but um, just that that's the one. Hey, um, here, this is what I want to do. You guys are going to help me because I've got this that I got from Margie. Um, you guys are going to help me figure out how to use this because I don't know yet. What? 
I mean, there's all these little dials on here. I can only guess. Let me see if I can figure it out. Okay. And you're there for questions. Okay. <laughs> all righty. All righty. I have a couple different sizes here. I even have a large one. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really doing anything. I just can't focus. That's yeah. been my, that's been my problem all week. I can't well, really focus. And you don't really need anything but a piece of paper to start first. Start figuring out. Yeah, how I'm just gonna grab a um, one well, of them that I was gonna turn into tags anyway, okay. which is perfect. Actually, these are dry now. Ow! I keep forgetting. <laughs> And I just stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then I'm reminded so quickly. So quickly. Oh, I, I remember that so well. Yeah, if you ever forget, Margie says you can go to wearememorykeepers.com and they have. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah. I, yeah, I knew there'd be a YouTube tutorial or 59, but well, I was thinking more like too that you, you guys can just talk me through it. Yep. We can do that. We're good that way. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling. Were you about to break out into some, uh, <laughs> into some uh, Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. Was that the, is that the band? Yep. <laughs> but tonight's gonna be a good night. <laughs> Does that mean that I can sing Fergie-licious? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> No, wait, that's a different song. Look at her butt. That, that's so big. <laughs> that's my theme song. So, <laughs> Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> People are always singing that to me. I don't know why. <laughs> that's the joke, anyway. It happened, and I, I, it was just dug in me, and I said, Oh my goodness, Becky. And you looked at me and like, What? What are you talking about? Becky, who? Where's Becky? Exactly. Oh, wait, Doug's home? <laughs> no, not now. I said one day, sometime. Oh, 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 yeah. I like big butts and I cannot lie. But <laughs> Okay, does anybody ever watch, um, or did you watch, uh, <sighs> um, uh, hang on just a minute, just a minute. It's, it's, it's there. Oh, ah, shoot. It's a singing song. It's the one where they have on a costume and nobody oh, sees the mask singer the mask singer thank you i don't watch it but i we see mm -hmm. the ads for it all the time hey, did anybody see the mask singer last season when somebody rapped i like big butts mm -mm. anybody anybody all right five Bueller. 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 <laughs> yes. who except if somebody saw it sharon you can see it if you can guess who rapped I like big butts. I, I, Barbara Streisand? I don't know. I mean, I I know the song very well. Yes. Huh? <laughs> it, that's a pretty good guess. You know, it's obviously somebody that... Does, Are you serious? Well, it's somebody... Uh, that, Tom, Tom Selleck. Genre. Um, no. Sarah Are they Palin. a singer? Sarah Palin. <laughs> No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, way. <laughs> no way. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? <laughs> I cannot see this. <laughs> oh, I totally can, though, because um, <laughs> I used to live in Alaska, and my sister still lives in Alaska. And uh, my sister has been in politics for many years in Alaska. And so. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. 
And if you uh, know Sarah Palin more than just what you see, you know, on TV, um, she's uh, she's a rough, tough Alaskan woman. <laughs> <laughs> not always the prim and proper refined <laughs> huh so it's funny though i totally that's uh, funny i never i never guessed it was her it was hilarious pretty funny pretty funny Yeah, I, I was just about to tell you what my sister's position is right now in the Alaska. What, your what? I was just about to tell you what my sister's position is right now in the Alaskan government, and then I thought twice about it. So <laughs> yeah, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, well, and not not uh, it, it's not a political, but uh, just it probably something that should be oh. world announced. Yeah, probably not. But, yeah. Um, so this, this cut or this makes a hole too, right? Hold it up so I can see what you're, okay. Where? On the there's crocodile. Two, there's two it places. Makes a hole. Do you want me to go grab mine? Um, sure. Cause then we can, I know there's all these buttons. So yeah, we can look at things at the same time. Uh huh. Okay. Hi, Lucy, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to catch up with some uh, chat. You guys know I have to lean in and, and squint to see them. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Okay, so you've figured out the button on the side that locks it closed, right? Uh, Jen is here. She's uh, she was oh, cleaning yes. her. Listen, she Jen uh, Artlanda. Jen's Artlanda. Jen's Artlanda. Uh, oh, I get it. Okay, that's not a last name. Uh, and uh, she actually was cleaning up her art room and listening and watching while while she was doing that so <laughs> we we do that the same way we yeah. all uh yeah, have it going on our tv and then i feel bad because i can't give it a thumbs up or yeah uh -huh, hot mess uh -huh. that's funny you're just preparing for the big old blowout sale aren't you making room in your room <laughs> oh my God. um no i haven't figured out all the little things about okay. it all right so yours is the newer and more improved version than mine it's slightly smaller it's a little more concise which i really like but um oh i got it unlocked <laughs> okay i was just gonna say there's a button on yours that mine doesn't have that when you pull it together push that uh -huh. button down it locks it closed and then unlocks it so you got that right okay uh-huh oh and and Le oh hey lisa lisa's here too lisa jameson hi um, lisa <laughs> I would love to give a flip through of my book one day. Uh, we, I kind of did one earlier. Um, yeah. It's totally not done. When it is done, I might, but some of the pages I might leave out because it's it's an art journal, so it's you know some of it might be end up being a little personal. I generally yeah. cover that stuff though with some paint or something. Go ahead. We talked about uh, we talked about starting the art journal, and everybody, you know, wanted to when we really started it with the group where you showed a bunch of pages, I think I showed one or maybe two. Yeah. So, and that's, that's in the, in the, on YouTube, but okay. So quarter inch. Okay. Right? All right. Well, uh, you got to do holes first. So okay. Two, um, I don't know how much of a delay you have. Oh, let me look at YouTube. Okay. See where my fingers are going on the right and on the left. Uh-huh. On the left, those two spots right there, uh -huh. those, those are the two places that cut holes, the punch holes. They are? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to take a piece of paper here, something I just cut off. Um, and I know oh, you're I see. 
So turn it up. If you turn it up, uh, upright, up and down, like I have it right now, uh -huh. uh, like I'm getting, there we go. Like I have right now. And so you've got this little bump thing on the top. And if you stick the piece of paper right underneath the bump thing, you'll see a circle. You'll see a hole that you can see through and you can see your paper. Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. this is the one with the small one. Okay. Yeah. So if you punch that, then that hole, you can tell exactly where you're going to put your hole because that is the hole. Got so it. You're on that oh, one. That's now, such a nice, smooth, easy right? yes. hole. Okay. Yeah. So flip it over to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. And you can see the difference in the two sizes of holes. So these all end up like covering with something and they're not going to look like this, but let me get so the other side here. Oh, why is there a, a one thing in my way here? Why is there a, a this, little, little, okay, push that back. Uh, you might, like squeeze okay. it and push it back. Got okay. it. You know what that is? That's a guide to the edge of your page. If you said, I want to have a strip of holes down the side of my page, I want oh, them a, like a half inch or yeah, yeah. I want to be exactly three quarters of an inch in okay. front of the page. You set that, and when you oh, push oh, it, so nice. you stop <laughs> every single time, and they're perfectly even. I see. Okay. If you look um, on the side of that, those two places where you just punched, uh huh. Um, where my fingers are right now. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. I'm looking. Okay. There. My fingers are right there. If you look on the side of those two things, you'll see a one eighth and a three sixteenths. Uh, you see where my fingers are? Not, not my, my left hand that's holding the thing, but my right hand, the two fingers that are spread. Yeah, if you look real closely at there, and it, it's on one side, but not on the other oh, side. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. It says, one says one eighth, and one says three sixteenths, right? Right. Those are the two sizes of holes that you get. Okay, okay. So, yeah, the one eighth is the smaller, the three sixteenth is the larger hole. Uh-huh. Okay? Okay. So that's what you got with that. And then, so you make that hole, and now you want to put a, a uh, an eyelet in it. Um, there's several different things that you can, well, there's different kinds of eyelets. So with the different types of eyelets, you would need different, um, different, uh, what do you call this? I don't know, different tooth over here to set that uh -huh. up. And so as you can see, both of those little blocks um, spin around. They don't spin, but you can pull them out and move them. Am and I supposed to pull them out to do that? You don't pull them all the way out. You just pull them like you're going to pull them out. And they move up about a sixteenth of an inch. And then you can twist it around to the other side. Okay, I see. Uh -huh. and, then, and then you push it back down in, locks it. And the Okay, so why are there so many on? I And I can't remember what each one is for. But is, on, it, is one of them for a snap? Wait. Or on, like a rivet? On one side, there's only two. There's this, like a big thing that sticks out. And if you flip it over, it's a skinny thing that sticks out. Right? Right. That's the that's the one that should be on the bottom. Got it. Okay. Uh-huh. And on the other one, there's four. There's a little thing on each side of the block. Each one of those is for a different type of um, eyelet. And okay, I got it. I can, I don't remember which, what all the different I think ones. it's the number four, but right. I'm going to find out. <laughs> yeah. So you set your eyelet, um, stick your eyelet in the hole of paper and then uh -huh. set it, basically set it on top of that bottom one, put the bottom one up, up the hole of the eyelet. Oh, I'm going in the backwards. Um, okay. <laughs> But well, wait a minute. You need to have it upside down. So here's here's an easier way. Take your tool and set the eyelet on that little post upside down. Okay, that is actually easier. It is easier. Maybe and then take your tag and put your tag. How do I get it in there? <laughs> Make sure it's not locked so that it's open. <laughs> got it. Okay. Now set it. the tag on top of the eyelet and put it, put it down over it. There you go. Mm, it didn't move. 
So that means I have this on the wrong one. Anybody? Yeah. So um, the, there's a fine, you'll have to practice a few, but there's a fine line between getting enough pressure. You have to get enough pressure that you're crimping it. But if you get too much pressure, you go beyond and it just kind of ruins it and it doesn't look. So I guess I'm going to try this one. Um, uh, Margie puts the post on the top. You okay. can do that too. I like it on the bottom because it holds the eyelid in place, but you know, I, it's, it's hard to get, uh, to get that on there though. I think because Jen, I like Jen, we're using altered book. You're talking about these art journals that were just there. Right that oh, kind of, yeah. I will get this though. These, um, we, we took a, just a regular book and make an altered book out of it. And that's what we've been, um, Here's a page I need to work on. I got a good base down, but haven't done Come on. any more on that. This is probably the only one that I think maybe I could call complete. Maybe. Sometimes I look at it. Pages? As in pages? As in, as in, in the art journal, one spread? Yeah. Yeah, one spread. This is probably the only one that I could call complete. But um, this this one, I really like the base I have down. I just haven't done anything on top of it yet. So, so I kind of put it on there crooked, but I got it. But it, and it does take a little practice and you'll get I will get for, this. I will. You'll get a feel for how hard to squeeze to get it to, you know, crimp right without. And to figure out which, which four things that this does. Because I will figure, I will know this. That I have to go back to We Are Memory Keepers site and look at what are the four things. I, yeah, I will do that. I, don't, I think one of them could be a rivet for like uh, the kind you find on your jean pockets. Yep. yep. Uh, it. I think it's. I think it's some rivets. That's what I think. At it least is. one of them. But they're. But not. Which I have those too. Any of them. Um. um okay, I got to catch up on some comments. Okay. Um. Hey, Angie and Lisa and uh, <laughs> Jen and uh, Jen, I do, um, this is my first altered book and this is a personal like art journal. Um, I've, I, I make uh, junk journals, but lately I haven't, I've been doing tutorials. So I've actually, I, I've made a lot of, and I mean a lot of elements, but I haven't made a journal in a while. Um, and I think, I think that's something I want to put a box together to do because I have so many elements to go in junk journals. Um, I mean, I guess I never have to make the actual journal again, but I do want to put more in my Etsy shop. So yeah. uh, I'll, I want to, excuse me, I want to make some naked ones because that's what I have in there right. and then uh, offer a pack to go with them. So it's an interactive journal for somebody to make themselves. Uh, yeah. And that's, that is what I have in there. Um and yeah, I'm sure it'll take some practice. Um, uh, I'm looking it up right now here to tell us what those. Okay. I did look it up before and the only one I ever used was the eyelet. And so I forgot what the others are, but okay. So um, Lisa is making glass slide pieces. Ooh, neat. Uh, taking apart old jewelry to use as embellishments on the slides. I feel like I need to know what these slides are. Um, I'm not connecting for some reason. And uh, uh, I love taking apart jewelry and making new jewelry. Or uh, And I did that for a long time. I had like a jewelry bar at um, uh, yeah. basically at, at Holiday Bazaars with yeah. my other artwork. So I love old jewelry. I just, Sharon, I just texted you a, okay. uh, a chart. It's a little cube chart. They, the thing oh, on cool. the, the bottom are cubes. And so the one has letters, A, B, C, D, and the other has numbers, one, two, three, four. Uh -huh. um, and so if you use A and one, it's for a three sixteenth eyelet. If you use A and two, it's for a three sixteenth eyelet with a washer behind it. If oh, you, okay. I have some of those too. Yeah. B and one, it's for a flat embellishment. C and three is for an eight inch, one eighth inch eyelet. C and four 
is the eighth inch eyelet with a washer and D three is for a round embellishment. So okay. I need to have that chart. And so I just copied cool. that chart and texted it to both of us. Okay. I see now. Um, yeah, I'm, that's why okay, I I'm getting it now. I understand. Uh, because the ones that are like cone shaped or like volcano shaped, uh -huh. they're more sloped. Right. Um, those are the ones that go with the ones without the backs. Right. It's the ones that go more straight up and down that need the backs. Okay. I yeah. got it. The, the little, what do they call that? A washer. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well then let's put that to the test. Shall we? I have a larger one here. I already cut the hole, which that is the smoothest gliding cut ever. Well, yeah, it is. It right. really so, is. So do you have I'm a three aging or... these and stuff first, but what? Do you have a three sixteenth or a one eighth? I am putting it on the larger one here and then I'm going to uh, three sixteen. The right. It's right here. Okay. So uh, my guess is it's B and four. So it's a three sixteenth inch. Or I'm sorry. It's a one eighth inch, right? Eyelet and it has a washer. Um, it is a, no it's a what? Is it the large hole or the small hole? It is the large hole. Okay, that's what so this, that's, this one is. That's the and three I'm going to. The ah. large hole is three so it's a three sixteenths eye eyelet, and does it uh -huh. have a washer on it or not? Does it have a what? A washer, that piece on the back of the eyelet. No, it does not. Okay, so just a three sixteenth eyelet. I got it. It's done. What did you do? <laughs> I did B and four. So, so it it's the larger washer. It'd be and it was perfect. It came out perfect. It's just right. Um, and it was smooth. So it's the larger post mm -hmm. and the, uh, larger volcano shape. Mm -hmm. Um, because this one doesn't have a washer. Okay. But the, the volcano shape you use was for the one eighth inch. So if you try the one for the three sixteenths, it might work even better, which is number one, went number one instead of number four. Cause you said it was the larger. Doesn't item. number one need a washer? No. Oh, one. that is the one that I used. Sorry. Oh. It was B and one. Okay. And, and they're saying that it should be A and one. <laughs> I am so confused now. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I mean. I'll, re I'll look at the chart and see. More than, more than one doing. will work. Huh? More than one of them will work. Some of them will just work better. I'm, I, maybe I'm reading the uh, things wrong because I'm looking at the. No, that's got to be it for the. Hold on. Okay. So Margie's actually right because if you look at it, mine says base down by the cube that has all four things. Uh huh. And uh, that means that goes on the bottom. <laughs> so. Um, and now um, I don't have an eyelet right here, but I'm now I'm thinking about it, Margie. And I'm thinking I do put that on top because it goes in the top of the eyelet and I do the eyelet facing the correct way. So, yeah, it did it. So I put it on that top thing and I just hold it there with my finger until I get down close enough that the other one's going to hold it in place. So I put that, I put the base on the base too. That's funny. <laughs> Um. Uh. All right. So anyway, I have some gel prints here that I I glued at the beginning of this, and uh, this one was oh, it is a peacock. That's right. It's an earring that I pressed in there. You're right. Move it to your right over the top of your. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. So I I glued it to a box. This is a gel print. And these are actually earrings that I used. Dipped in paint and dipped and and uh, put them on my gel plate. Cool. Um, and it's rose shapes. And then there's, I don't know if you can see this peacock here. There's a peacock earring also that I used. And it's oh, big. Yeah. Yep, yep. I yeah. can see it. Yep. And then there's a pearl paint on here. 
So oh, I really like the way this one came out and I think it's going to be nice in the tag book. So I'm going to age these while we're, while we're sitting here. Cool. And then maybe get out my, this, my, this, my, this. <clears throat> No one's going to laugh at me. Come on. Um, laugh at you for what? The, the, my, this, you know, my singing, uh, my no. opera style <laughs> singing. Uh, I didn't even think twice about it. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Which tells you something, doesn't it? Oh, that's. Yeah, well, you you notice I don't have a cat up here this time, you guys. I do, and it's pretty awesome for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's for dinner, people? Hey, Natty, how you doing? Hi. We missed you too. Hey, Natty. Natty's here. <laughs> Yeah, it's us. Where you been? Um, I can't believe how smooth that thing glides, too. Yeah, it's really... It's nice. Maybe I... Oh, let's see. I think I need to tear out more pages and glue some more pages together. What have I got here? I am going to use my eye zinc ice and really, really change the color of this paper. Really? Because it's just computer paper that I used on the gel plate. Right. Um, so I'm, this stuff is like a sheer, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like a watercolor would be. Right. Or I guess I could spray them too, but I love the way this, the color of this is amazing. Cool. Uh, and I can't wait to order more of these. I'm going to ask Santa for some more of these for Christmas. So this is my first one. <laughs> Santa is a generous man when I fill a cart. So. <laughs> so you need to fill the cart. I know. I'm, I'm like always trying to go easy on him. <laughs> I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> <laughs> and then you feel bad that you did because you wanted the other stuff too. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like weighing it out because I'm like, I really want this and I want this. And put it uh, he doesn't want to get it all. Then he'll. Uh, make it he put never says that. There. I just um, don't want to be greedy. Oh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Twice a year. Greed. <laughs> yeah let's see and then Nettie went grocery shopping today and bought newbie new clothes oh yeah they do grow so fast that's i would I love to see pictures of that baby hate that with kids that you know i just you hate to buy them clothes you hate to buy them shoes because in three months they won't be able to wear either of them <laughs> let me tell you a little secret uh as often as possible go to your facebook buy and sell page and buy them by the bag full from other moms that didn't want to get rid of the clothes, but wanted them to go to, cause they're gently used. Right. Kids outgrow them so fast. Right. Yeah, exactly. Go and buy those. I mean, I always did just because I couldn't have afforded to buy them new with five kids. Yeah. But uh, I mean, little boys wear out their clothes, but little girls will never wear out their clothes <laughs> ever before they grow out of them. Uh, there comes a point where little boys are staining them and ripping them and, and they just don't last, but little girls, you can always buy n new clothes, new used, lightly used clothes for like they still, nothing. They still seem like new. Right. So what do I want to do now? I don't think I've got much drive left in me. I I haven't been in my at my desk in days, and I've really wanted to come up here. 
And now I'm sitting up here and I don't know what to do. Well, maybe you should start putting together the things that you're going to take downstairs. That's a good idea. I do like that idea. While you still have some energy because you can still talk. and Yeah. Yeah. I can still talk while I pack a box for right. sure. And I can pick this up because, you know. Right. The only thing I can't really do from my bed when I'm laid up is paint. Really? Just because it's messy and I'm accident prone. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I really do that. So I've actually organized quite the basket with uh, uh, envelopes that have snaps on them, like clear ones. Uh -huh. um, to like in different, you know, digi kits and oh. uh, painty papers and book pages and for my art journal to go with it. So I actually have quite the selection down uh, that I had downstairs. It's all up here right now. because I yeah. drug it all up here around <laughs> my neck in a bag. Um, <laughs> but Bill told me to, to uh, knock on the floor and he'll come get whatever I need when I'm done. So oh. <laughs> such a good boy. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I have a paintbrush thing like this. It's right here that I've used for years mm -hmm. um, with all my best paintbrushes that I don't want to get messed up. Yeah. Um, but this came with, and we, you could make these out of a, a scrap of fabric too. They're, they okay. would be pretty cheap. This yeah. actually came with makeup brushes a while back mm -hmm. and I've had it uh, in, in my vanity. And I realized this is the perfect thing to put the tools that I will use and yeah. love um, to go downstairs with my junk journal. So it's like a travel bag for your, you know, with your brushes and your white gel pen and your markers that you like or paint pens, your Stabilo All pencil, um, a glue pen if you use that. It This is a great way to travel with your art, art book. Um, watercolor, uh, pest, uh, um, I'm, I can't even think right now. Uh, colored pencils, the watercolor with the water brush. Um, that would be a great way to store those too, to, mm -hmm. you know, have with your art journal in a l less uh, messy environment. Hey, Lori. Hey, Lori. Good to see you. Hi, Lori. Let's go. Girl on the Ridge is here. So not to blow any more surprises for the big blowout sale, but can you see um, my pencil roll here? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have a few of these coming up for that sale. Oh, do you? Not a whole lot. And I've got it. This one's blue. I, I really like this blue one. I've got, um, I think I might have a red one and maybe a blue one and a couple of uh, like coffee colored ones. Um, yeah. And it's uh, really nice. Put, put your whatever you want in there, whether it's your brushes or your colored pencils. I have one that has... Um, these are just blending brushes, white and, and black and, um, I'm sorry, blending brushes and blending pencils and eraser pencil. And that's all that is in this one. And it has the, the go through in the back if you wanted to, but I love go them. through, I, go through. What are you talking about? Can you see where my hand goes through all the way through the back? Oh yeah. Yeah. A pocket in the back. Yep. You so I just think it's, Great to have with your art journal. Are you taking that with your art journal? Is it, does it sit next to it? Um, yeah, it, I have a couple, of, I have several of them actually. And one of them does. But when I uh, travel, we go camping, I take this. And when I take a small kit with me somewhere, I've got um, one set up that I take with that. And, uh, oh, I should show you the back. I should show you the back because I really like this. This is cool. So I actually, does anybody, did anybody out there used to play bingo or does their mom and you happen to have some bingo daubers laying around? Because you're not going to believe this. <laughs> I colored my vintage etiquette book um, with 
these were in my kids uh, or my grandkids um, art box. And I actually thought, well, I wonder what's what those are made out of. I wonder what's in there. And these are old, but they're thick and they almost remind me of my eye zinc ice. Um, I actually tinted my book purple. Um, my vintage, you know, fabric covered hardback book uh -huh. is purple now because I used this. It's amazing. That so color. do not overlook these because wow. <laughs> it's like, I, a. I wish I had my away that I found in a laundry room closet when we bought a house and I thought, well, I'm not going to use these and gave them to somebody who would. And boy, now, yeah, I wish I hadn't. Yeah. They're like ink. They're like a thick ink. Oh, with chips. Yeah. So guys, if you're interested in a pencil roll, I know I don't have a ton of them. I might only have a half a dozen. Um, watch for what hour they're going to be up on. So I saw somebody say hello to Girl on the Ridge. Girl on the Ridge is Lori. Uh -huh. I think Lori knows uh, Falug, feline family is Margie. Try to say that till everybody gets to know everybody so that, you know, you don't have to type out this whole long thing. <laughs> it's easier to type out Lori, Margie. <laughs> uh, Royal G is Crystal Nettie Diamond. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's hilarious. What are you today, Crystal Nettie Diamond? What do you want to be today? I don't know. I really like Nettie. There's something about Nettie that I really like. That's it's just really pretty. Oh, there's Ivy. Hi, Lori. Oh, watched you do paper clips and clusters with Margie today. Oh, Maggie. Was it with Maggie today? Cool. I have not seen that one. I didn't get to see that one today. Paper clips and clusters. But um, I'm assuming that was with Maggie today. Is that right, Lori? So those flippy, flappy folder thingies that we made, Lori was the one that did those, did the original oh, yeah. with Maggie. And um, that's, I was at that live tutorial and saw how to do that. And that's on my list of things to watch when I'm laid up. Yeah. I actually haven't been watching as many videos as I should be while I've got my leg up. So, yeah, but I will. <laughs> you'll have more time. I will. I will have lots of time. Uh, <laughs> the time will go by and you'll be up on your leg again and you'll go, oh my gosh, I didn't even get all the videos watched. Yeah, I why didn't, didn't I watch those yeah. 400 videos that I wanted to watch? Well, I That's had, while I had time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure what I want to do. I just find myself not getting much done while I'm sitting there a yeah. lot. You know, uh, unfortunately, I'm just spacing out. Just got the news on or <laughs> something oh, I, stupid. I, I, I'm going to show you guys this. I <laughs> bought these plates. I don't know. Oh, I want to see these. You told me about these, and I'm interested in looking yeah. at these. You'll see why. I bought these plates purely for the purpose of scanning them in to get the picture. Um, will they fit on your plate rack that I suggested that you put in your art room to hold stuff on your desk? Woo! The bigger ones will. The smaller yes. ones. Like, okay, so here's one. This is a small one. It's only maybe five inches diameter. Look at that picture, though. I don't see it yet. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, those are so cute. cute. But that does. Over. This is the one, obviously, that goes with the teacup. So that you got the indent right there in the middle. But check this out. This does not have an indent in the middle. And I really want to scan this picture in. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It reminds me of Scarlett O'Hara. Yes. Hey, that's not all. That's not all. So this one's a little bit bigger plate than that one, and it's a different image. They're all different images, huh? Well, they're not. There's like only two or maybe three, but there's different size plates. So they're wow. All can I can I see the underside of that? Um. Yeah, they are Victoria by, uh, I'm sorry, they're Victory by Salem China Company, Salem, Ohio. Huh. 
they have this cool little hand holding the um oh wow those are so cute yeah so there's there's a tiny little bowl it was not a complete set it was not a complete wow. set but tiny little bowl and then there's the ones that hold the teacup and then there's this one that's a little bit bigger and then there's this like the dessert plate and then this would be why are you using those on your desk and then and then this is the like the dinner plate i don't know why you're not using those on your desk and putting well, them on your on your uh, plate stand i don't want to scratch these up until i get these scanned in i don't want to scratch They're so them. cool yeah look at that isn't that cool so and then cool these three that are dinner size, then I can use them on that. But yeah, I don't want to scratch up the images any more than they already are because they're. I vintage. can't wait to get scans of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they are super. Cool. I love them. Yeah, I so odd set. There's like three of the dinner plates. There's one salad plate, two dessert plates, one tiny bowl, and three coffee mug plates. And I bought them purely for the those images that I want to scan in. <laughs> uh, you're so, not have a bit of those, Margie? The exact same ones? Seriously? Wow! How cool is that? And do you have her set? Do you have the set now? Did you inherit it? They are pretty, aren't they, Lori? I I just thought beautiful. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I got them at an auction. And nobody wanted them because it's just like random. There's not enough plates. It's a partial set, that's why, huh? There's not even one or two full plate settings. So I got all of those plates for a dollar. Wow. One dollar. Yeah, I can't wait to see them scanned in. They're so cool. Where do you used to eat dinner on those plates? That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. And I literally got them just because I wanted to scan those images in. And then I thought, and then I can make some fun treats and give them to, you know, some people. With cookies on them? Yeah. Yeah. That's how pretty would the plate be. But That would be fun. Now that I like that. Like Sharon gave me an idea, guys. I have a I have a rose gold stand, the kind that when you're entertaining, you can put like three different tiers. You put a plate on and you put your um, you put your hors d'oeuvres and stuff out there. And, and I was looking for ways to build up instead of out on my desk because I like having tons of desk space. And um, so I was getting things that elevate where I can still use space underneath them somewhat and not have You can always go up unless you have <laughs> attic slopes like me. <laughs> yeah, I would not have so many buckets on my desk. And so she suggested that I use one of those cake tiers, not cake tiers, one of those plate, uh, what do you call them? Plate, plate stand. stand. It's I don't called know. a plate stand. Okay, plate stand. So I ran downstairs and got it out of the closet, and I brought it back up, and I, I put two china plates on it, and they're perfect. Absolutely perfect. But, yeah, I'll use these on it as soon as I scan them in. I just don't want to scratch them up anymore. Um, oh, that's just amazing that Margie used to eat dinner on these because her grandma had them. I yeah. think so, yeah. And I've never seen anything like that. So Margie, I'm happy to send you one just for memory's sake. So you've got one plate of your grandma's. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious, you guys, are does anybody need to or want to know how to make these for Christmas? The angel. Oh, how cute. Yeah, we could actually do something like this one Saturday uh, coming up here, yeah. I was thinking, um, just for fun. Um, it just hangs in my, and it's, she's not a, uh, she's not an angel to me. She's just a fairy, I guess. Okay. Um, she hangs in my uh, room here on my pegboard year round. So that's, that's why she's not an angel to me. She's yeah. a fairy. And, yeah. you know, the more I look at her, the more she looks like, you know, a very young fairy godmother or something, not a... Well, yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she was she was meant to be an angel, but I changed her up, you know, and... Um, but we could make one of these. I mean, she's got something that makes her sturdier so she doesn't, like, fold. I've got a wire on here with some beads. They're on the tree. Um, if anybody wants to know how to make that, I thought we could do that in a future Saturday. Candy bought an adjustable makeup turntable for her desk. Loves it since she can turn it around and get what she wants. 
I'm oh, trying. Yeah. I was that. looking at those. What's a, a makeup turntable? What's the difference in that and like a a lazy Susan kind of thing that you have on the well, table? It's, or? it's probably what? got shelves on it. It's oh. a, it's a, an acrylic uh, yeah. rectangular. It spins around. It's okay. Like a, yeah. So all the a rectangle or all like all the acrylic stuff that holds makeup and brushes and all of that, but it spins. Right. But that, it's tall and yeah. it's got narrow. Uh, That's a great uh, tall shelving for different size stuff. And Smart yeah. Julie was going to mention that I could make a three tiered turnstile with those plates. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Sharon, if they did want to make that fairy, if they did yes. want to that fairy what would they need to make it um well it's just i mean we could use cereal boxes guys cereal boxes okay this so is box. just recycled cardboard uh -huh. and um then you know you dress it any way you want like obviously it's, it's just scrap paper okay. cereal boxes mm -hmm. i made this before i got into junk journaling okay so, so um so uh, a wire and beads and whatever colors you would like and yes a piece of yes. wire some beads that gives you the ability to hang it in your room or on your tree or wherever i would probably make her different making her again honestly because i didn't have like all the lace i didn't think yeah. about using lace for the wings or any of those things you know so i mean it's just uh, the same stuff you use for your art journals yeah, it's Nettie, you don't need much. You can, yeah, you don't need a, a lot to make a scrap of whatever paper you have and a box for a base. And if you have some acrylic, I'm not acrylic, I'm sorry, if you have some gel pens or some markers, some Sharpies, right. you can do a lot with that. Yeah, and some, maybe some glitter, you know. Yeah, that's and, and you know, so you want to embellish it. Anyway. Stop. Sorry, I'm I'm packing a box up while we're talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a puppy who wants to tear up the rug right now. Oh no! Oh, that's her newest like, thing. She's trying to tear. Oh, up that's her new hobby. Well, great. We've had this rug for three years. I guess I don't like it anymore. So, once she grows up, we'll just buy a new rug. <laughs> Margie would make a mermaid. That would be super cute like that. Oh, my gosh. She would make a great mermaid. Uh, yeah, that would be super cute as a mermaid. Yeah. She would make a great mermaid. And, like, the, with the beads and stuff, you could put shells on the top. Uh-huh. That would be and super pearls. cute. And pearls. That would be awesome. That, that really would be. Cute. I didn't feel like I've accomplished a whole lot tonight other than enjoying time. No, we didn't. We hung out, we crafted, we have this stack of gel prints and I didn't even I didn't even look through it. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh uh, man, I could have even just taken this and made some tags and pockets and Jeez Louise. That's okay. We got to hang out with our girls. Yeah. Got to hang out with our friends. I'm sorry. I'm yawning. Yawning and already tonight. Um, yeah, I need to go sort some more things for the sale and find some things that I forgot that I got. <laughs> this is really going to be such a fun sale because there's so much that I put away because I, there, we just can never get to it. There's never enough time. And I've got so much stuff and I'm surprising myself. Like, oh, I forgot about that. And it's all coming out. I think just in my craft room. Yeah. I forgot about this. It's all coming out for this sale. It's all coming out. I've got some super cool old, old books. I've got some new books that have great images. Just tear up. Yeah. And I can't wait to get into the boxes. I hope I get to the ones that are in the garage because i know there's some way old stuff in there oh my gosh i have several tall shelves from doing holiday bazaars in my garage to go to like they're just sale stuff on there <laughs> and i haven't been in there to do that for so long there's um, a lot of jewelry oh oh i picked up a whole lot of jewelry and not a whole lot I picked up a lot 
of jewelry, a lot of four, five, four large boxes and one small box and not jewelry, but the make jewelry makings, findings and, the, <laughs> and things to make jewelry with. Huh. Yeah, cost a pretty penny. But then when I dug into it and saw how much there was, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. There's enough to share, you know, to be able to sell and everybody get some, which is Lucy's amazing. got lots to say tonight. Yeah, she suddenly just decided that it's time. It's time to play. Lucy. <laughs> I'm just packing my box, you know, trying to see if there's any stamps I want to take down there and to go in my journal. Honestly, I'm just uh, kind of having fun doodling in my journal and, and playing around with it. What, Candy? Your dogs chewed a hole in the couch and tonight they tore up a pillow? Oh, my goodness. What? Dogs are terrible. It's a good thing they're cute or we'd kill them. I know. <laughs> that is totally it. It's a good thing they're so darn cute. Oh, man. Or they would kill them, honestly. Uh, that is very true. Oh, let's see here. I'm thanks for crafting with us, guys. Huh? I said thanks for crafting with us, guys. <laughs> Sorry, that's not what I thought you said. <laughs> Thanks for crapping with us, guys. No, I thought you said start crafting with us, guys. <laughs> oh. That was funny. <laughs> I'm like, maybe they just like watching you. <laughs> uh, huh. Hilaire. Oh, my uh, goodness. Quest. Let me type so in I've this. got a, a selection of stamps. Um, tomorrow night. Oh, Are tomorrow we going to do yes. the thing, uh, uh, a variety of things to do with gel prints? Is that the plan? Um, or do you want to talk about it later and figure it out? Ask, let's ask, guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, guys, Saturday Night Live tomorrow. We are not doing beeswax. That's going to have to get pushed out a bit. So I haven't even got to play with that yet. I I can't. It's okay. So I what, just realized um, I can't take all this stuff down. I'm going to be back up here tomorrow night. Uh, well, so yeah, we need to know what we're doing, and then leave only what you know you'll use tomorrow night. And then, yeah. and then tomorrow night we can carry it all down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's oh, how I'm going to do it. Hmm. So. Okay. Let's get some input on tomorrow night. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? We were going to show different ways to and come up with different ways to use gel prints. How do you guys feel about that? Or is there something else? I I got to be inspired to do that, but well, I don't know. We could do that. That probably help if I get back into the studio and instead of being out here because all my stuff is there and I'm more inspired when all my stuff is around me. Candy said uh, she thinks they tore it up because her husband's gone and no one is sitting in the living room for them to lay <laughs> on. Oh, <laughs> their That's pillow funny. is gone, apparently. Uh, and Margie says, mind your own beeswax. <laughs> of course. <laughs> How very Margie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Margie, that was bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 As a kid, mind your own beeswax. <laughs> yeah, we all did. Oh. And uh, he has cooties. I remember that well. Oh, yes, yeah. that's funny. Well, um, what would you guys like to see? Would you like us to do something specific and teach you how to make something? Maybe, you know, one of us do a tutorial uh, yeah. and, and the, you know, the other follow along and make it too, and, and you guys as well? Or would you like us to just pull out all our gel prints and and make stuff with the gel prints so you can see kind of how we use them or um, something else even all together. Um, we could sit here and organize things for the sale. <laughs> Watch the no, we, can <laughs> we can put dibs on it and see what it is. <laughs> Mary Ann has lost her mind. <laughs> oh, and guys, and a ton of paper and the paper is 
less than half price retail, the, like the good Bow Bunny stuff. And yeah, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Becky. <laughs> Look at her butt. <laughs> it is uh, so big. Um, Nettie wants to us to make a scrapbook so that she can get motivated to start hers. So what like a mean? like a book, book from scratch? What do you mean by scrapbook? Yeah. Are you talking about like oh like traditional scrapbooking? <laughs> Margie. <laughs> Go bunny, bo bunny. Yeah, Margie, are you talking about like traditional scrapbooking? Um, doing a page or, you know, like that. I'm sorry, Nettie, not Margie, not Margie. Margie would never be caught dead doing that right now. <laughs> oh yes. A book from scratch. Okay. So are you talking about making a junk journal from scratch? Like how to make a junk journal from scratch? Nettie, explain, give a little more info. You got Spell some explaining to do. <laughs> Lucy, you got some screening to do. Spell it out. Tell us exactly what you're thinking. And I will drink my cold hot chocolate. <laughs> well, now it's just chocolate milk. Hmm. But it's good because I'm hungry and this is like drinking liquid chocolate. So and I didn't, is that what we're thinking? What, okay. Let's, uh, why don't we have everybody go to the page and uh, put their uh, requests in and we'll figure out what we're going to do tomorrow night since our original plan got canceled. You are so right, Ivy. <laughs> How am I not seeing all the comments? Are you on live or top chat? Okay. I'm in live chat. Nettie wants to see us make a journal from scratch and maybe give her some ideas as well. Oh, Margie just had a Snickers bar. Oh, love the Snickers. I love those commercials, Snickers commercials. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, wants us to make prints or use prints, one or the other. What, what, who? Glennis. <laughs> Glennis says, Hell I Prince. Yeah, that's what I read in there. Hell I Prince. <laughs> well, Glennis. <laughs> and I'm just, uh, you know, looking at the screen in between packing this box up and trying to figure out what I need to take down. I, I think she means Helly Prince. And then I think she means Jelly Prince. Jelly Prince, for sure. Okay, so and what's funny is that I didn't make a lot of gel prints that I would actually use as scrapbook pages because I was just demonstrating them random. So thing. do you need to make some gel prints? Well, so, but I would, so I could, would show how, if we do that, I would show how I, I take these and how I make elements out of them for journals. But, um, Candy, a dang spell check. What did I miss? What did I miss up there? I like that when the spell check does does funny things. <laughs> yeah. Those are the best laughs. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, so, so I got my basket ready, I guess. I guess that's all I need. So we could put a journal together and there's like, um, just a very the only problem with that is I would need to go around and gather all the plain papers. I suppose I've never made one out of just scrapbook paper. Well, and, a, and not elements, but just the journal itself. But I'm like, you can take right. just like a naked journal. Yeah, a cardstock could be the cover, or we could show how to use your cereal box or a piece of cardboard from a box that came in the you know from Amazon or whatever, and make um make a cover, a covered cover, whether covering it in paper or covering it in fabric, um, how to make that cover, how, you know, just to make one signature, like a 
uh, scrapbook paper being the cover over one signature or how to make multiple signatures and put that into, this kind of sounds like a series. Yeah, it kind of does. What if we just make uh, some smaller, um, like either a small naked traveler's notebook to be embellished at a later time or um, uh, a, a small um, booklet uh, like we've made in the past uh, with the staples okay. or with a couple, you know, a couple stitches in it. Oh, we're talking about tomorrow, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about tomorrow. Um, I would just need to know ahead of time so that I can take out the paper I want to use. Okay, so and what get it ready? What if we don't worry about exactly what it is and we don't plan it together, but we just, we both just plan on making some kind of signature or journal or notebook or small, you know, something like that. Okay. And, okay. You no, know, because does we'll, that work for everyone? Does that work? And the trend because auto <laughs> That's true. That's I true. hate it when autocorrect does not let me cuss. <laughs> yeah, but then when you're trying to just say things nicely, it autocorrects them into cuss words. <laughs> Boy, that pisses me off. <laughs> I am. Um, Ivy, yours hasn't go at, gone out, and I it should go out tomorrow. And would you like me to tell you? my embarrassing reason why yours hasn't gone out yet. You can make me say it in public. <laughs> here's Ivy. Here's why your box hasn't gone out yet. Um, uh, a while ago we had the really cool Alice in Wonderland necklaces and the necklace had like, I don't know. Oh, 11, the teacups. 15. No, it had like 11 or 15 charms on this necklace. I remember those. Mm -hmm. really cool. The teacups were the ones that were stacked together. Yeah. And um, uh, Ivy got one in the sale, but she gave it up for somebody else to have it and said, I can wait. And I, cause I told her I was going to order more and I did. And so um, I got them in and um, Ivy paid for hers. And um, as I was unpacking the truck, <clears throat> all the things that I got from the warehouse two weeks in a row, I have packed boxes on top of the box in which those necklaces sit. And so that necklace is, is packed nicely in a box that's in a box that's on top or underneath other boxes. And I don't even know which box it is exactly now. And I didn't want to send out your package without that necklace in it. <laughs> if I, but I'm going to tell you this, if I don't uncover it tomorrow, I'm going to send out your box. Because I want you to have all the rest of the stuff. And then as I organize for this sale, I will be going through each one of those boxes and staging them for the sale. I will come to that box and be able to get your necklace out and then send it to you. How's that? Everybody wants to know the stupid thing Marianne did. <laughs> that's what I did. And that's why Ivy's box has not gone out yet. I'm sorry, Ivy. But that's, a, that's the truth. That's exactly why. <laughs> That's exactly why it hasn't gone out. Sorry, I'm sorting through right now. I've got this thing on my desk. I'm sorting through. <laughs> it's all right. So, um, so let's do, let's figure it out. Then uh, we'll we'll both do something yeah. we'll do, with we'll do something. signatures. We'll so just say call it. Yeah. We'll do something in regards to a journal, a traveler's notebook, a signature, binding, not binding, somehow putting together one of those. And we won't really talk about it that way. We'll probably do two different things. Of course, you know us, we'll probably end up doing the same thing without talking about it. But that way, if we do two different things, then you'll be able to see a couple of different uh, yeah, you know, ways of ways of putting things together. <laughs> well, Ivy, the, the friggin' dog got it. <laughs> nope. That I can say for a shorty. The dog did not get it. I, 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 yeah, I close the studio door every time I walk out of it. That door does not get left open and she is not in there. 
not in there. Um, she's hardly even in there with me anymore when we're doing this stuff. She, I brought her bed out and she sleeps on her bed outside, um, outside my studio. I, I don't know, maybe it's too noisy for her, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I know she did not get it. I know exactly where it is. I can picture the box that it's in that's within a big, bigger box, the smaller box that they're all in. So yeah, but if I um, can just, if I can have room tomorrow to just take all the boxes off all the boxes, then I can get to the one that has that in. I will, it will be out. It'll be in there and it'll be out tomorrow. If not, I'm sending it out tomorrow anyway, tomorrow afternoon, just because I don't want you to be waiting for stuff. So, Oh, Ivy said, I thought you were going to say Lucy got it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of one dead dog? <laughs> um, Margie, hold on. Y'all are about done. So I have to go and do something with this stupid computer. Yeah. Good night, Margie. We love you. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow night. Lately. Bye, Margie. Don't kill it because we still want to see you tomorrow night. So love you. Have a great night. Uh, I, yeah. a, a travel journal into hidden hinges. Hidden hinges. I'm trying to think of what that is. No, Candy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, what, what were you saying about hidden hinges? Uh, Ivy said she saw somebody put a travel journal into hidden hinges. Oh, okay. Like a hit. I'm, I'm trying to think what, what that is. Hidden hinges different than a hidden spine, right? Ivy. <clears throat> I think it right. It's, it's not, you're not talking about a hidden, uh, a hidden spine. Hmm. Um, I'm just sorting through some papers that I had on my desk thinking, what do I have here? Or do I want to make more of for a journal for a little naked journal? And yes, um, uh, earlier I said naked journal and Margie said, <laughs> you said naked. <laughs> She's yeah. like, um, you see this butthead <laughs> on here. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> are, or are you talking about a hidden spine? Are you talking about hidden hinges or hidden spine? Hinges. Is it like the ones that cross over like that? Like the, the ones that you cross them over and glue them down and it's like a hidden and they are more like hinges? Is that what you mean? Let's see. Um, I haven't seen response from her yet. She probably okay. has a had lag I, and that's entirely possible that those are called hinges so that could be it actually do you know what i'm talking about that's got the you cut tabs and then you cross the tabs over uh-huh um that's and they're kind of they're kind of hidden maybe that's it um, i i have not seen a journal on those i've seen those journals though so i'm wondering if that's what they're called I do um, hidden spines, putting signatures in so you don't see the stuff on the outside. But I don't oh, think yeah. she means. I don't think she means a hidden spine. Huh? No, uh, I don't think so either. I think it it could be those tabs that I'm thinking of, but I'm not sure what they're called. Boy, I got all kinds of stuff over here. Like yeah. when we were making paper. Like, huh? hmm. Like decorating all of our own paper, and oh, we did yes. the tutorials, and I stuffed them in that thing, and haven't had them out since. <laughs> hmm. Go figure. Oh, and then these are from. Look at this age. That's from an old book from the 1800s. Do you oh, see yeah. this natural age? I love that. It we'll is read. amazing. So brittle, and there's a picture of what looks like a ghost mm -hmm. on the back. Let me try to look at her. She's amazing. Yeah. She's almost like a mermaid, but I think she's yeah. a ghost floating over a pond. That looks like her hair is super long. 
it is. And then her gown flows out, but the picture's not crisp enough. I actually have it in my, in my, um, digital. Oh, I know file. what you're talking about. A hidden hinge binding system, um, binding a book with hidden hinges. Is that, is that it Mar Margie? I have done that on, on, um, mini books, like maybe five or six inches tall. I'm going to totally look it up on Pinterest now. That's my plan. Um, so paper phenomenon. I need to, I need to make, I want to make a small journal um, of a specific kind different than like our standard, maybe I shouldn't even say, cause I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make a different type of journal because I want to make this for someone whose daughter passed away and I want to um, embellish it with her favorite things and give it to them for memories of her. So um, I might do, I might do the hidden hinge. Um, Cause I did one, I did one for some kids when they got married and it turned out really cute like that. I'm going to have to look it up. <clears throat> um, okay. Okay. So yep, That is exactly what I was thinking. Once you said Kathy Orta King. Yeah. I know Kathy's style. Um, yes. I know Kathy's style. Yes. That's exactly what I was thinking. I know what oh. she's talking about now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to uh, let Bill carry my basket now. And go. I'm going to go. Okay. So um, we, will, we will reconvene tomorrow. tomorrow night. More Five alert <laughs> for me. 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And we will each make. Uh, some kind of journal, book, signature, uh, something like that. Some something, kind. yeah. Yep. And so we'll be showing a couple of different ways then of putting things together. Between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Thanks for um, hanging out uh, yeah. for this girls' night and crafting along with us or just chatting and feel more being a part of it. We have a plan of, of what to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always good, isn't it? <laughs> Back into the studio where all my stuff is nearby. That will make. I just, difference. I haven't been up here for like a week, and yeah. I, I don't know <laughs> where or week and a half. I guess it's been. I, I, I'm so excited to be in this room. I don't know what to do with yeah. myself. Apparently, <laughs> what's yeah, that? You don't want to leave. It'll make a difference. Yeah. Let's get back there but well. I don't know what to do also yeah true. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't <laughs> contain all the excitement <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining us love yes. you all. stay safe have a great day. have a productive and great day tomorrow and meet us back here tomorrow night and we'll see what I've unpacked tomorrow for the sale that I can tell you about <laughs> Oh, and Sharon, stay off your knee, ice it, heat I it, will. whatever I will. you do, because we want you back here tomorrow night. Yeah, I probably won't climb the stairs until it's time to come up and, and go. So, Good. yeah. Okay, so expect this mess on yeah, my desk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Not really. You can share the link in the group. Absolutely. Put the link yeah, out. that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hang out with you guys. Definitely, Candy. It has been another fun night. <laughs> your dog's it has. I wasn't listening to you when they tore up the pillow. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and a good job of tearing up the corner of this rug right here. So, yeah. Well, right. see you all, all right. right. Love you.